my millions of followers. Hold on. <clears throat> <laughs> Clear code chat log. All um, right, now we are live. Hello, chat. Yeah, hello. yeah, monkey. Yeah, yeah. I know. Everyone's a critic. What's up, everybody? Hello, welcome. Uh, greetings. Greetings. I actually should um, I should throw on some music here. I'm gonna turn on the uh, Final Fantasy VI uh, album music that I had on the other day, which is awesome. I don't know if you guys. Oh, uh, you yeah, that was really good. It's cool. Like I, I was like, it just sort of fit the music. Like and I don't and you know what we were doing, but um, but yeah. Um, oh wow. There we go. Final Fantasy VI Orchestra YouTube. There we go. Standard. Looking a bit. Chubby I didn't have the, uh, the screen. I think. Looking a little bit what? Chubby. <clears throat> I'll take it. <laughs> you are you are stretched a <clears throat> bit, a touch perhaps. Um, you and your stretchy. Wait, where did I where did I put this? Let's see. This wasn't in my contract. Screen. What? Uh, let's see. Show bookmarks. It's not there. Right. Must be in. Must be in my maybe Chrome. Ah. Anyway, hello everybody. Um, hello. Yes. Video. Are we live? Are we really live? Yes, we are actually live. This is live. for real. Everybody has a face. Yes, everybody has a face. What's up, everybody? Um, welcome to uh, Infinity and Beyond. Uh, welcome to uh, Ghosts of Dragon Spear Castle. I'm trying to find some music. Um, these uh, six individuals that you see before you, I feel like that speech from Hoosiers with Hackman's like, these six individuals have made a sacrifice to play basketball for this high school. That kind of sacrifice deserves and demands your respect. So it's like that, except instead of high school, it's Twitch, and instead of five individuals playing basketball, it's six playing D&D. But otherwise, it's identical, and yeah, right. so, you know, you guys need to remember that. I cannot find this awesome music that I had the other day. But anyway, I will... Do you I will guys try to like find our Boredom on. artwork? Yes. <laughs> yes, the, the we had alone. Oh, hey, like what's up, house. Quad Zero? What's up, Philly? Um, yes, we have some drawings as well. <laughs> um, and uh, things around us. So, um, before I explain um, larger webcam locations, yeah, I know, but I mean, there's only so much room that you can do. The problem is if you spread them out too much, the layout, I think, looks really cool, and if you're not careful, it gets really cluttered. Um, so we have to be kind of careful about how we set everything up, but we will uh, we will endeavor to keep making adjustments as well, because the game area's got to be large. I'm glad Foom brought you here, Recruit. Uh, it is a pleasure to see everyone today. Um, hello to Hillness, Lego, Recruit, Monkey, Quad Zero, Philly, Arcades. Uh, hello to Jedi Knight. Hello to Grand Blade. Uh, let's see. Hello to... You guys are really busy in chat, so I have to scroll back a while. Hello to African Eskimo. Uh, hello to Cambridge, New York City. And um, I think that's all the people that were there. Um, and uh, UFC, of course. Good to see everybody. I know we'll be getting a lot more as time goes on. So this is the Infinity Beyond crew. We're playing Ghost of Dragon Spear Castle. And what I'm going to do while I desperately try to find this soundtrack is ask uh, these six gentlemen to introduce themselves. You will notice, uh, by the way, that we have one new member. Um, and this person is, um, well, he's, he's new to D&D, &D and he's basically new to the internet and to computers. He doesn't do this regularly. Um, streaming is not something he really knows a whole lot about. When we said Twitch, he thought it was like some, you know, some, some, like, nervous, you know, tick or something. Like, so, um, I hope you'll all give, um, a very kind, warm welcome to, to what he's calling series runner. Um, you know, I hope you'll oh, all... that's me? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I hope yeah. you'll understand. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, let's, uh, let's introduce everyone. We'll start from, uh, from top left as you guys are looking at the screen with, uh, Saad, who, um, as he pointed out to us, now has a beard because it's been so yes. long since we last played. Yes, It's been a cold, harsh winter. <laughs> in Australia. In the winter of Sydney, in Australia. Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, so I, in case anyone doesn't know, I am the Dwarf Fighter, Domdor Grumblehammer, and I basically am like a ricochet. I just ping pong onto everything and kill things. <laughs> like a ricochet. <laughs> yes, it sounds like an awesome opening to a song too. All right, Series Runner, uh, next one down on the list. <clears throat> Sweet. I am... I don't know what I'm doing. I am a human fighter. That's it. It's all I know. <laughs> and your name would be. And my so AC yourself. is 18. My name is Emil or Samuel Adams, the Ale of Winter. That is my name. <laughs> yeah, that was the best part. The Ale. That's spelled A E L. It's the Ale of Winter. You were like, 
I'm like a Naked. prince. You're a fighter and you have no clothes. You have like no armor on. That's yes, cool. I'm right with that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for the follow, by the way. Um, it won't be once we hit combat, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so welcome in, Sirius. Sirius is here. Uh, Lennox um, fulfilled his role uh, admirably. And uh, Zynel, um has uh, ran off, basically saying he had to take care of his people. And so uh, Samil <laughs> Adams, fortunately, the Ale of Winter was close by and uh, decided right. to join this group. All right, um, on down we go um, to the person at the bottom left, John. Uh, wait, series. You've never played D and D before? Uh, not tabletop, just okay. uh, video games. It's like Baldur's Gate. Oh, all right. Well, that's yeah. partially it. Okay. Uh, Cade Marmadas, the shorter character, short, shorter than a dwarf, but has just as many kills as him. Thank you very much. Um, I'm the halfling rogue. All right. Um, yeah. and then uh, let's see. Uh, uh, we'll move over to all the way to the right side of the screen. To the man standing, uh, sitting in front of the green screen, um, having uh, done a lot of yard work today. Uh, yes. Foom. Yes. Hi, I'm Foom. Uh, I'm a Pisces. <laughs> I like long walks on the beach. Um, <laughs> if my you like pina colada, sorry. Pizza. I, I'm a cleric who likes to get his drink on. That's that's my role. That's, <clears> which is <throat> awesome. Which is so funny. Yes, indeed. All right. Next one up the list is uh, our uh, good friend and yours, Optic Nerve Productions. Hey, I'm Optic. I'm playing. Uh, Elvin Mage, the genie for glass. And I'm not a noob, and I don't secretly uh, cosplay a Sly Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> Sly Cooper. And uh, last but certainly not least, um, the uh, currently wasp stung um, yes. in Aminatus. <laughs> he took I'm damage. <laughs> I'm a Aminatus. I'm playing uh, Soliel Rain. He is the uh, human mage of the group. I almost said fighter out of reflex. Human mage of the group. Excellent. Um, so now we know that's what it was. Tya Stig. I had forgotten what the name was, and I was like, "What is his name? What is his?" Don't remember his name. Now I remember his name. Um, all right, let me uh, hold on a second while I get this. You back. still look like my... Varys. You're just Varys with a beard. <laughs> yeah. Biggest my yard commando. It's huge, and yes, I do have to do a lot of yard work, otherwise it gets taken over. <laughs> Massive yard. Um, that's part of what happens. So um, anyway, good to see everybody. My name is Arvin Elleron. I am the uh, dungeon master for this delightful crew. Uh, and just to quickly summarize what's going on here, um, we began um, at the uh, last session. I guess it's actually two sessions ago now. It's hard to believe. It's been a while. Um, these guys had... Um, entered a uh, pleasant little town known as Daggerford, um, where they witnessed a hanging of a, um, re of a uh, red wizard who uh, had meant ill to the uh, mayor and the uh, people of the town. So they witnessed this hanging, but just as the uh, hanging was finished, they found out that Crom's Hold, which is a keep nearby Daggerford, had been um, attacked by a black dragon. Um, so they, of course, immediately gathered all their people together in like a well-oiled machine, um, raced as one unit without any discussion or they just all immediately knew what they had to do. Um, they ran right off to Crom's Hold, um, where uh, they found it was under attack by, um, it had been attacked by some lizard men. Um, so they went into the marsh to find out what happened. They did encounter a couple of lizard men and some strange frog-like creatures, which they managed to defeat. They eventually found their way to a... Um, an area, um, a uh, hideout, a bandit hideout, which had been taken over by a group of what we called dorks, which were half dwarf, half orcs, um, <laughs> led by a, a person who called herself Mama Booga, who said that she had uh, leverage, as she said, against she was, uh, this she, black dragon. She was a sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> um, so they... Uh, she was a sweetheart. Sunil <laughs> so so really liked her. Oh. Well, what's... <sighs> What's up, uh, what's up, Geek Beam? I, I'm on the front, we're on the front page? Really? I think he's looking at the other role play um, with JP. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. I was all excited because I did I did shoot a message over to Carnage. I was like, oh. I was like, ooh. All right, well, that's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you know, it'd be nice. Anyway, um, but uh, you guys are all wonderful for being here. Um, so let's see. So yeah, so Mama Booga and uh, so Foom decided to try to um, try to uh, get closer to Mama Booga. Swoon, swoon her. Yes. yes. Um, <laughs> and and do you want to explain Foom what what happened in the process of doing that? Um, let's just say I got a really bad roll, and instead of moving in for a smooch, I headbutted her and started <laughs> a. Oh, John, that's uh, you. You need to log in, log out, log back in, or do whatever you did last time. Um, Skype. started a super big battle between like us and like ten of these dorks, and I was the first to get knocked out. <laughs> and I had an alligator or crocodile attached to my leg for about a two-hour fight, and couldn't do anything. So. 
<laughs> what did great. you guys do? <laughs> yes, fortunately, yeah, was, um, you guys yeah, I was had blinded uh, that entire battle. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. Inam was hit early on by a flash bomb, <laughs> so he spent most of the fight stumbling around, like trying to ghoul touch people or whatever it was. Uh, shocking yeah, grass people. Shocking grass. Yeah, that's I what had, it was. I had that ready for pretty much the entire battle. Yes. Um, um, so is, that, he, is that better? So he did it. Yes, that's much yeah, better. Yeah, you're thank good. you. Yep. Okay. Um, so he did that, and in the meantime, um, with the uh, able assistance of um, Cade uh, Marmadas, um, Domdor Grumblehammer. Um, whose name name was Rick Ricochet because he basically one shot everything. Just ran around the battlefield and like one shot, one shot, <laughs> one shot, one, one shot. Except for that one lizard. Yep. Um, yes, and I should mention by the way that you also encountered at Crom's Hold um, a uh, human fighter named uh, Mention, um, who uh, I believe she was a human, um, who came along with you to sort of accompany you, having been through this area before. So Mention is still with you. So you had her assistance as well. And in the middle of that area, you found a um, an egg. Or looked like it's a ovoid object. And oh, yeah. uh, Cade, would you care to explain what happened at, at that I point? I forgot about all that. I just wanted to see if the thing was still alive. And as soon as I touched it, the damn thing hatched and imprinted on me, apparently. So I forgot I had the, the baby dragonlet following me around. Yes. So now you guys have a baby dragonling. And, which uh, I call Stampy. Yes, which you call, which you call Stampy. Stampy. And you knew that you had to find the black dragon already. Now you really need to find it and basically give yeah. it back its, its kid, if you assume that's what this is. Yes. So um, you guys then left there. You uh, managed to get farther into the marsh, and you eventually found your way to uh, an overturned ship, um, which uh, was in the middle of the swamp. You didn't know how it got there. It was sort of curious. But there was a, an area underneath where you could basically sneak under. So originally, I want to say it was um, Lanix's character, Zynel, yep. that went in there first. Yep. Um, and he found a massive uh, snake in there that he had to fight. And as he was fighting the snake, uh, Fing, Mufikus, uh, went in to yeah. give him a hand. Um, and did, in fact, defeat him. Thank you for the uh, follow, Red Room. So he did, in fact, uh, manage to defeat him, but he did it in part by calling down Sacred Flame. Um, and if you think inside of the inside of, of a wooden ship... Inside a wooden... Inside boat. a wooden boat, yeah. Um, in the middle of a swamp. In the middle of a swamp. Uh, while he was doing this, by the way, I should point out that uh, Solil Rain was outside reading a newspaper outside the boat. Because he knew this <laughs> was going to happen. I was, I was, I was, I was <laughs> catching up on the reading. Yes. <laughs> so he went, inside the, uh, he went inside the overturned boat and uh, the flame thing. And then, um, so Saad, uh, sorry, uh, uh, oh. Domdor tried to free them by doing the fire break thing, you know, by, by getting the axe breaking, breaking in the wall. And it got stuck in the boat, which at this point it caught on fire um, because of the flame. Um, he managed to pull out the axe. You guys managed to escape before the entire boat blew up from the accumulated swamp gas, sulfurous gas, that had built up underneath the boat and sent up a beacon which could no doubt be seen for miles around. Like, everyone and heard, now knows. And heard. And heard, yes. Um, it was awesome because you, they walked away slow-mo, so there was a little badassery going on there. But well, still. I was running. Because I was the last one. <laughs> yeah, except for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's Everyone a good else point. Is Everyone that, else that's is walking. Why, that's why we took a couple weeks off for my hair. <laughs> yeah, you did grow back. Hey, EXC. <laughs> yeah, because it was singed. What's up, EXC? Oh. Um, and so uh, you guys did eventually, um, you know, made your way out from the boat and uh, found yourself at the uh, edge of a lake. Um, and on the uh, other side of the lake was this temple looking structure with uh, frescoes on the outside and so on. Um, and so you made your way over to the lake. Um, you only had a minor run-in with some leeches. Um, that was all just a few, few small leeches. No big deal. Um, just like that. Yes, just like, just like what, uh, optics parrots say they were. And, um, then you guys got into, um, the, uh, the sort of opening area of this temple-like thing. And that's basically where we stopped. You guys had just entered. Um, and, uh, you guys, that's where we were when we did the last time. So now you guys are caught up. And, um, series, the way we'll do this, because you haven't played it before, thank you for the follow, Demon Killer. Um, welcome to the Arbonauts. Because we haven't played this before, um, as we go through, I'll basically introduce concepts as they come in, um, like as combat begins. Um, but I will tell you that, uh, essentially, you can do, especially during this section of out-of-combat stuff, more or less what you like within physical reason. If there are things that require a particular skill, I'll ask you to roll against that skill. Um, if you have a particular, um, like... You, you'll notice that you have on your sheet um, certain attributes, charisma, luck, things like that. Stuff that we have in, uh, you know, even Icewind Dale and stuff like that. So I'll often ask you to make uh, tests against those things, depending on what it is you're asking to do. But you Such can basically head, head ask to do... Right, exactly. Hmm. Um, so you can basically ask to do any of those, and then I'll add modifiers or things like that as necessary. Um, and then combat, you know, we'll talk about that when we get there. So that's where we are. Um, stick by me. We'll, we'll do fine. I'd something like happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, sounds good. Something yeah. happened with Skype, I'm quite askew. You're quite askew. Oh. Yes, that's strange. 
Uh, let me fix that. Oh yeah, you never got the the camera on the roll twenty stuff to work. <laughs> no, I went. I got uh, in the time way. I got two different webcams. Tried them on both my uh, casting set uh, tower and on my laptop. Didn't work either locations. Yeah, I don't have no idea why. Sorry. So, roll, roll roll twenty and my house. I guess it just does not want to work well with. I see. There we go, and then I'll just fix that. Super, super big head. All right, there we go. Now normal, <laughs> normal sized in on. You guys will see that in a minute. Okay, cool, excellent. All right. Um, so I think everyone is now set to go. Um, and if chat is ready, chat, are you hyped? Are you ready? Are you ready for the skill? I Thank did. you. Thank you, Ritikrem. Thank you very much. And uh, by the way, you guys will notice over to the right side of um, my portrait uh, there, you'll see there's a little die symbol. That's where the dice rolls are going to pop up. In a minute, uh, oh, wow. they'll see there'll be some dice rolls that will pop up down there. Um, and this um, picture that you see in the middle will be cleaned out um, as soon as necessary. <laughs> so, um, okay, let's see. Actually, is chat, is the last thing anyone said what EXE fan said? Sub That's all chat? I see here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, I just want yeah, to make me sure. Too. Me too. Yep. All right, just making sure everyone's awake in here. You know, <laughs> making, making sure. yeah, sometimes, yeah, on slower nights, I'm, I don't know if it broke or people are just just They're chilling. Just chilling out and <clears> hanging <throat> out. Okay, good. All to right. be fair, you were going through the entire like history of what we did last time. Yes, I, think, I felt like after the, the, the practical month late time off, you <laughs> probably had to do that. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. It helps. And a refresher for us, too. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so here we go. So uh, now we, there is the deal. So um, as you guys might remember, um, you are inside this place, but let me describe what it looks like inside this temple. Um, so this pillared hall is exposed to the elements. Um, whoop. Just as I started saying that, optic got kicked off. What happened? No. This is exposed to the optic disconnected. Parrot. Parrot ate his internet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh... Sirius, do you have, um, like a link to your character sheet somewhere? I'm just curious. Yeah, yeah he put one in Skype, actually. Yeah, oh, which we'll actually put into know, regular you know chat. The, the Google link that I've made? It's in there now. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. do, do you need that link again? I just put it in Skype. Uh, for all of them? Yeah, please. Yeah. There you go. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Ah, uh, cool, okay. That's actually nice. Yeah, you should get that as well, series. Do that, do that bookmark. Gesundheit. Thank you. I think my chat froze. I'm going to reload this. Yeah, my, my Twitch went weird, too, and it kicked me off uh, D20. I have really? to... Reload into that. I'm gonna type test just to make sure everything's working. Well, sod, yours is working good for me, so. We <clears throat> find your thing. Oh, chat is not reloading. Oh. oh. I think Twitch may have just blown up. Off to the Twitter check. Oh, really? I, I just promoted you to Carnage again, too. Maybe he's sick of it. He's like, yeah, fuck you guys. <laughs> Bam! This ends now! <laughs> a couple of, uh, Shut up! Just because you know Foom doesn't mean you get on the front page. So, <laughs> suck it. He who's watching said chat broke for him as well. So I think yeah. chat is... Yeah. Chat is broken? Oh, that's, a great, brutal. that's just great. Like, we can't oh, do it now. But the follows are still going. What's up, X1 Pro? <laughs> yeah, it... So is, is chat's broken, but the video's still going? Is that right? Yeah, I'll try that actually as well. I tried refresh. I shouldn't do this. Okay, no, really, we're good. Let's see if that works. Uh, oh, videos up and going right away. And chat. Yeah, I get the I spinning think, circle of doom. I don't think IRC is working either. Uh, I think chat. actually, I think it is. Um, mine just loaded. Um, yeah. Hopefully, if somebody's able to type into chat, um, at least the at least the night dev, you know, uh, chat plugin seems to be working. Which, I mean, it's, you know, it's not fine, fine, because obviously we love chat and stuff, but, I mean, it's workable. Yep. Did you get my little tiny face? I seen, I refreshed like a moron, now I got nothing. All right, I good have, news I is we got a, oh, <laughs> and somehow Optic Nerve, uh, Optic became, interesting. Yeah. Optic became <laughs> Foom, and oh John became Optic, and <laughs> Foom became John. I'm still series. And series hey, is still hey, series. Hey. I'm still dumb dog. Yay. I'm still High up five here. series. High five. <laughs> that, that is the best thing about being the like little Skype jerk in all this is that I rarely get messed with. Unless someone comes in or out of Skype, I'm I'm up here in my own little spot. Oh, chat's yeah. good for me. That's hey, it's back oh, yeah, just reloaded. Alright, good, good, good. Yeah. For me, chat was down. There we go. 
Beautiful. All right, there Welcome we go. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome. There spinning, we go. spinning, spinning. We got ah, him. Here we go. There we go. Alrighty. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, oh my god. All of a sudden, like, like this is a flood of like, oh, don't back. Wait. Oh, thank God. Chat back. All right, guys. Refresh if you can. There's a new follower. Arvanella is incredible. What? <laughs> Lego. <laughs> You could chat, but you could not see the others. Okay, now you guys can see everyone. Yay! Okay, good. All right, so where was I? Uh, yes, yeah, so, description. So, this pillared hall is exposed to the elements. Rain pours in through a 20-foot diameter circular hole in the ceiling, the circumference of which bears a few telltale signs of a copper and stained glass dome long since destroyed. The floor is covered with puddles of filthy water, and the pillars are encrusted with mold. Behind the pillars, set into the walls, are rows of shadowy alcoves. Painted on the south wall is the faded image of the sun, its golden rays fanning out in all directions. Beneath this image rests a stone altar, half buried in bones and awful. Crawling over this noisome mound are beetles as big as treasure chests, their bodies lit up like lanterns. Whoa. Yeah. Now, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the part of the map that you guys can see, so just bear with me for just a moment here while I do that. Oh god, the dragon's here already. Yeah, <laughs> and one of the beetles is a dragon. Um, <laughs> thank you for the follow, Bonus. He looks at you and he goes like, Rah! Dragon beetles. Beetle dragon. It's the worst um, the worst combination of all things. Indeed. Um, okay. That would suck. Yeah. Yes, it would. All right, I'm just uh, window capturing this. So while I'm doing that, you guys can feel free to chat about what you want to do with these things while I'm getting this Beats a dragon out. wasp. How far? <laughs> it's still true, bitter. True. Still salty. Stings you. Still salty, then, yes. Then breathes fire on you. Yeah. Um, are, how far are those beetles, by the way? Uh, those beetles are, I'll tell you exactly how, square, um, from where you are, about 30 feet. Okay, bow is out. I can <laughs> hit that with a bow. Yeah. yeah, I'm not pushing those things. Why would you want to hit it with your dog, Series? That's so wrong, and I'm That's appalled, what I was just thinking. you know? <laughs> He's way more vicious than he looks, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Al, Al, right. Al Adar. Welcome to the, uh, Arvanauts. Right, I'm gonna, please. I'm gonna, you know, go my usual route and, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, pull up my javelin, get ready. Uh, right, you know, which, which has you've been very impressive with. Uh, I, I uh, like yeah, it. I'm okay. So what? We send the dwarf ahead to scout and then just, you know, pincushion them. Is that the plan? No, we should totally. Say I don't know. Are, are they aggressive? Oh, or like they even all right, I mean, they, they don't seem to be so moving awful. towards us or even taking notice. I, I, I'm a little curious about the whole glowing thing. Uh, like you guys should video, be able to see coming up right now what you see. I'm sorry for the number one, glowing number one in the middle of the room. But you'll be able to see um, basically what you look at here. Um, you've got those alcoves um, down the side and uh, the right side. I don't have this quite captured right because I can't show you the rest of that revealing aspects of the room that you shouldn't see yet. Um, but uh, you guys are, uh, if you imagine um, an area to the north of the room you're looking at that's about 15 feet. That's where you guys are standing. That's the little entrance hall. And then you're staring at this room. And the reason that it's lit is not because you have torches and things like that out, but because these creatures, uh, these beetles, as I said, um, are all lit up. So they're basically making this bizarre sort of shadowy glow um, as uh, as they're crawling around. I don't see anything. Yeah, well, it's it's not on this screen. He captured it on his. Yeah, it's, on he, he put it on it's his not in roll twenty. It's on my. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I wonder if there's oh, a way I to do it. that. I see it. I see it. Yeah, sorry. You should be able to add it on. Can I? Can I add it in there? I would. I would. That would be nice. I mean, right. not so that it's I, not. I think yeah. you can add a handout, and then you can pass the handout. Yeah. The problem is, well, see, I had to capture that. See, because I don't. That they don't. They don't show all of right. It, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So we we are at the. The north end of that picture, yeah. Is yes, that correct. correct. That's right. You're actually and just beyond it to the north. Okay, and so it's like a long corridor with with pillars on the side. And it's a bigger room than a corridor, really. It's it's oh, kind of yeah. a room, and those those oh, pillars obviously you can, you can move between. That's correct. It's a pillared hall, and remember that it's basically open to the elements. There's a huge twenty foot circular hole in the ceiling. The whole thing looks run down. I mean, you know, it looks like it's been you know exposed for a long time, basically. And it's the altar at the bottom with the are the beetles all around the altar, or they're just crawling. The beetles are crawling over the mound. Thank you, Jack Lord, for the follow. There's a bunch of crap over the altar, like um just bones and food and junk and stuff and crawling over that are these beetles 
Hmm. So it's basically below. like, you know, Taco <laughs> Bell in the South Bronx. That's that's basically what it's like. I'm just kidding. And how many beetles can we get an estimate? A half a dozen? Three? Five? Um, that's a good question. It, it looks, it's it's sort of hard to get a good read, but um, you it looks like maybe four, three, four, five. I mean, again, the light is not great here. It's what you're getting off of them, but you're guessing it's somewhere around there, three, four, or five. Okay, good, good. All right, um... I will. Well, I'm gonna wait and see what the rest of the group wants to do. I'm very comfortable hanging I think, back. I think and we seeing what's slowly going on. move in. We'll need yeah. something with a torch out. And um, all right, who I else vote. has? Who else has a bow? I do. Okay. I've got magic missiles. Well, that's true. Yeah, I've got magic missiles as well. I'm. You could always yeah take a take a pot shot at. All them. right. I, no, so no, I, no, no, I no, 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 cast, no, no. Cast fish. light on a coin again and throw it at him. I could always charm him <laughs> to move to the I'm side so we can grab the goodies. I'm gonna flank left if I want to flank right, just so we don't, you know. Are the beetles showing any form of aggression or like knowledge that we're here? No, they, just they seem around? to be really enjoying whatever it is they're doing on that mount. Uh, okay. My my first instinct is uh, whenever anything glows in a video game, that means that it blows up when you kill it. So <laughs> 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 hey, first rule of video games: it's don't. Not a bad idea. It explodes. <laughs> right, I'm gonna make sure. So Stampy, I'm alright shooting it. Stampy needs to stay near me, so I'll just tell him to like stay behind me. Stay there. So we so should we'll basically set up a line of beer bottles up to them and maybe a food will light them on fire. <laughs> <laughs> just out of instinct. I've had enough. I'm staying back. I'm just going to let you guys handle this. Type. Okay. All right. So where are you guys? Uh, are you guys going to move in, um, essentially? And uh, let me, I'll now be, that you've yeah, had a chance be, to see I'll, that. I'll be in front and like, go okay. down the main. Maybe. I'm going to uh, remove this uh, level here just for a moment. Um, how do I do this without destroying your guys' wonderful drawing again? Uh, can I Please clear? destroy it. Can I? Yeah, I think you. I think you can remove it. Yeah. Just like, yeah, that's a mess. It's very distracting. There you All go. Right. Okay. It's very distracting. So I'm going to uh, freehand, uh, not unlike a child would freehand it. Um, <laughs> let's see. Actually, no. You know what? Maybe I won't have to do that. Um, I'll give you guys a basic. Now remember, we're not. This is. I repeat, we are not going to be doing the, the uh, heavy square usage. But just to give you guys a sense here. Um, What's that detailed map? Okay. No. <laughs> that looks beautiful. <laughs> That's um, fantastic. We... It's all good. Let's see. <clears throat> How do I undo the one that was just uh, just done, With Sod? Just control Z do? Control Z might do it. There you go. No, okay. Darn it. Let all I see is a big box right now, so. Yeah. I see a, a box big, with a little. A uh, big red box. Which a little follicle that? at the top. <laughs> What's the erase uh, thing I, again? I was thinking it has a little hat. Uh, it's under <laughs> the... Uh, where's it? I'm only going to need... Oh, actually, you to, no, you have to change the color thing to nothing, I think. Isn't that it? No, no, no. no that's fine. It doesn't matter. That's okay. I got it I got it set up differently anyway. Okay, so I'm going to zoom this out a little bit so you guys get a better sense of uh, the whole size of the room. It's not huge, huge, but just to give you an idea. So, um, and I will freehand it despite the fact that I'm concerned about what that's going to look like, but whatever. Um, oh, I, I, freehand's better. I'll okay. Like freehand. So, here we go. So, it looks roughly like this. So, we got... Da -da 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 -da. And then over. About like this. And then down. Hey, Ar, can, you, can you draw a, uh, a detailed 3D <laughs> view of the beetle? Because I want to know what its weak points are. If I'm going to be shooting with a bow. Referencing Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> yeah, referencing Grey's Anatomy. And cross-reference with Autobots. Yes. You know, beetles. Right. Uh, okay, let's see. So, this area over here I'm gonna, is I'm gonna like this. Step out for oh a my quick god, that was terrible. Sorry, I apologize. Did you like sneeze and have a convulsion yeah, or something? What happened with it's, that? It's so, I can't even tell you how terrible it is to do this. I could do free lines, but like, draw, like drawing and stuff is so difficult to do. Um, I, think, I, think, I think me and Sod are just going to move in. How about that? Okay. And then basically, yeah. um... Each of these areas down here, pillar, <laughs> pillar, 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 and so yeah, just, on. Just, just scribble. I'm just like giving that. you an idea. Just giving you an oh, idea. Shit. Pillar. No, I'm saying pillar, do it like that. That's great. Just a straight scribble. Pillar, like, so we, okay. pillar, and pillar. Okay? So you guys basically are here. Down, so this works. Yeah. Oh. Okay. There you go. And so basically, and then the altar is right down here basically, and the beetles that you see are down there. We're up at the top? Correct. Okay. 
All right, so... the sun is the sun symbol was it above the altar? Is that correct? Uh yes. Um it's on the south it's... wall. Um and okay, it is so above the stone. It's like a giant giant sun symbol on the back of the Yep. Okay. Hi hi Kata, what's up, bro? Catabasis, who is not only the guy who got me started streaming, but it's the first time I played D and D uh, on Twitch, was with Kata. Anyway, yes. Oh, nice. So there you go. Shout out to Kata. Shout out. Hey, Kata. All right. Little, so, Sod, are we, are we here shooting from afar, real... or are we going in? I'm oh, gotcha. I'm ready to go in while we have other people shoot from afar. Okay. So you guys right, just want to tell I, me I'm roughly where you guys the, are going to be, like roughly where you want to be. Definitely in the hang back right, camp. Uh, of the group. Okay. So just let me know. So you guys are moving forward. So uh, we're going to have Domdor, as I understand it, in front and is going to move in with, um, sorry, with, with. Uh, Samil with bow drawn <laughs> right over the okay. shoulder of the door. <laughs> All right. So Samil right behind Domdor is coming in. And then, uh, then um, Soleil is hanging back. Um, what about, I noticed that Fing is vanished. <laughs> I'm, and I mean actually vanished. Like yeah. he's not in front of his screen. Um. <laughs> So he just went behind the screen. He's hiding. <laughs> he's, he's concealed. <laughs> All right. I assume that means that he thought he was going. He may have just said he was going to go somewhere and I missed it. Um, yeah, okay. Down. So let's see. And also, optic seems to have been kicked out or something. Um, yeah, we know. lost one. So, hmm. All right. Well, check Skype. <clears throat> no, he's still on Skype. <laughs> An official cartographer, probably Ninja, or or, or I need to, or I need to him. redo the last thirty years of my life so that I can actually learn how to draw. I still I got see an idea. I'll use a box. A box Give up to writing, man. Myself, a black box. Yeah. Like that. Oh, can I fill it in? I can fill it in. Probably. I can. I can draw reasonably well a map if I'm doing it by hand, like on a. But with a mouse, I don't know. You, you artist types would know better than I would. But we have, we have, we have <laughs> I, tablets, I'm not man. As I say, <laughs> a box. I don't know. None of us draw I with the uh, mice. Work. Pretty much, exe. Yeah, optic. I lost you. I don't know. You're. Since you're not, optic is still in on, on his end, how about we have him like try next time that happens have him like try rolling to see okay if he is still in the system or not okay um i and see you so, i see you back here yeah I, their optic is back now cool all right i see you uh so we just need foom um but uh for the moment we will we will continue moving so so you guys move forward okay so you're moving forward into the box is that here yeah, is that th box controllable correct. by anybody that's... i can move it yeah i can move it all right so go ahead and move be, it be me. so i'm so we're moving in, and I'm pretty much just going to walk straight, straight okay. down, okay, to like there. So assuming someone else is behind me, or the one by sixteen. Got gotcha, you, buddy. I'm right there. I'm right there. <laughs> so wait, <laughs> are you gonna, we're going to do some. We're going to do some fancy three hundred moves, right? So I'll <laughs> nice, do like Jekyll, a low cut and do a spin. And you come around <laughs> oh, cool. to the left and do like an upper. So wait, how are you dropping right? these little boxes? Nice. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Are you guys, are you, well, no, stop for a second. Um, Saad, when you moved in between there, what did you just do? Did you go to the other side of? Uh... No, I'm just, we're just, we're just, we're just mucking around. <laughs> okay, okay. I want to know what you're actually doing because I was like, all right, yeah, that's cool. I'm just, I'm just slowly doing cautiously with my axe out and all that. Just. Okay, just what is this thing to the left here? That's that is me. What that is. That's our, our, that is me. That's you? Kate. It's a C He's, for Cade. Yes, yeah, so and that's okay. where I'm positioning myself. Uh, Cade, when I need you, uh, I need you to back yourself back up to the top of the second pillar where I have my little mouse cursor right now. I can't see your. Cursor. Oh, right sorry. Here? Uh, like right below the first pillar on the top left. Right here. Pink. Yeah, exactly. Right there. So, so move your C up there. Right there. Okay, yes. Sure. Now, when you do that, um, please make. Uh, I'm gonna ask you to make a. Sound check. Uh, let's see, an intelligence roll for me. Oh, all right. That's let's see. All right, so I need the standard. <laughs> Thank and... you for the. Is that really a real person? You will get bombed. Just wait. Really, is that really a person? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Kaboom! Oh, critical failure. You actually are not entirely sure. You see your hand. You you don't really. You're like, what happened to the world? You don't like you. You don't see things very well. I'm I'm kidding, but you don't see anything. Um. Okay. So everything <laughs> seems fine to you. Okay. Um, all right. Ooh. So when you get to the next pillar, so you get to the to the third pillar to position yourself. So go ahead and place yourself there. Um, and as you do that, um, the Wait, gray and the brown, Sorry. gray is gray is Domdor, right? And brown is uh, Samil. So you guys move down like say two squares, because I'm assuming you're all doing it at the same time. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what uh, Fing and uh, Jin are doing, but I'm assuming they're sitting back and ready to cast spells. Yeah, Fing yeah, just got back was, just now. That was cool. <laughs> okay. So, and go ahead and move one more square farther. Yeah, okay. Down, so down. and then... I'm, um, I'm basically pacing them. That's exactly it, yep. 
I moved okay. Down. Exactly. As soon as that happens, um, Cade, you hear a hissing sound from out of the darkness, uh, and then something slams into your right side. Oh, that's gonna hurt. And uh, let's see exactly, in case you're wondering what that is, chat, let's find out. Um, I'm give curious me my myself. Dice. Give me my dice roller, please. I'm really tempted to just, like, put my foot on the back of the dwarf and just, like, push him with my foot and just, like, <laughs> shove him. <forward. laughs> Maybe I'll see what happens. Okay. Let's uh, let's roll that d20 here. Saad, when you get a check, uh, when you get a sec, check Skype. Up. Uh, All right. Oh god. <laughs> well, oh, crap. you on. guys can see for yourself what I just got. Um, yeah. <sighs> of course you did. <laughs> of course you did, yes, absolutely. Darn it, I should use my lucky- I keep forgetting my lucky train, son of a gun. Alright, give me a second. Oh, uh, so thank you, Terry and World, for the follow. Um, okay, so as I said, something slams into you from the side. Um, and uh, so, let's see. It's gonna be... okay. How do we make the little tokens for our guys to show where we're standing? Ah, fortunately it was not that much of a blow. Um, oh. The tokens, yeah, they'll, I don't know, I'll be able to explain. So, you get um, two points of damage, oh, um, okay. which terrible. is not a whole lot, but um, you were definitely slashed by a claw. Um, and you are knocked over, um, you're actually sitting on your back. Um, and, uh, give me one second here with this as well. Okay, so it came, it came out of, to my right, from over here? Um, it came to the south, so it came, yes, from your right. Oh, so basically okay. from the one side. Um, right. And uh, so you were slashed, you're lying Ow. on the ground. Um, yes. And also, let me just make sure if something happened or not. Right, okay. Um, so uh, that happened. <laughs> um, and uh, you also felt the same kind of, hey, what's up, Lakota? And hello, Guapo. You felt, the, uh, you felt a kind of burning um, enter oh, your side. Um, now it, it fades quickly, but you definitely remember having experienced this or seen the burning happen before. Um, and uh, if you think back, you may be able to remember recently. I won't make you make a check for it, but you actually have encountered in this adventure someone yes, who suffered the, from like, this before. Undead lizard disease lizard men things creatures that have yes that kind indeed of, and as you look that, up you see oh, in fact no, no. um one of a lizard men which is riddled with uh, leprous contagion now that you're up yes. front you can actually see it um kind of hissing down at you and he is not alone oh. um oh. as he does that two other um of the uh lizard men leap out from the pillars on the other side so oh, there's good. two behind oh. the pillars and then okay. two of them leap out here how did you make that box again um uh, Saad? So, it, there's the draw shape freehand polygon line just yep. below the... I use draw shape. Yep. And you have to change the color. So, the, the left one's the gotcha. outline color and the right one's the inner, inner color. It's a bit awkward because it kind of like doesn't look like you change the color, but it happens. And yep, I gotcha. Try it. Mm. All right. Oops, so, two here. Shit. <laughs> we did so good. I'm over here. Damn it. How do I get rid of this? Okay. All right. We're still missing like half of our group. So where's everybody else? All right. And well, then the... Well, things up at the top. See the, the orange box? That's mm -hmm, good. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm yeah, missing okay. the up the top. There we go. There now we they're we popping go. in. All right. There you go. Okay. okay. Now, again, I want to emphasize... Quite... <laughs> What's that? Well, this is theater of the mind. Like, this is just the and starting position. if you want to position. move it, guys, switch yeah. back to the, the arrow. So the select move. And you can just click it and then move it around. Uh... uh... Okay, oh, the so these left. four squares down nice. below, by the way, oh, are the four beetles that you see that are crawling around, as yet John apparently Paul uninterested Ringo. in you guys, still crawling around. Um, <laughs> thank you for the follow, <laughs> Hello Optic Nerve. Guys, <laughs> let's take. Let, how to fill the color. <laughs> guys, let's take it easy on the fake followers thing, please. Um, just because it makes it difficult to figure out what's actually going on and what the numbers really are. So I appreciate the joke, but like the joke's been made, so please don't make it again. <laughs> What's up, Law? You you don't know why you get notifications. It makes you sad and then sad because sad and sad. I'm sorry, Law. I'm glad you're here now, though. What's up, game? Uh, okay. So, yes. Yeah, so, uh, there we go. So, they were able to do that. Now, those two leap forward. They are going to each get um, a surprise attack on the two of you. Um, that is uh, Domdor in front. Uh, and then <clears throat> behind him, um, Samil. And after that, we will roll initiative. Um, so, they're going to get an attack each. So, the first one in front is going to attack um, Domdor. 
Once I get my dice roller going. Why don't you just stay, dice <clears throat> roller? Why you no stay? <laughs> Why you no stay? Oh, damn it. No. <clears throat> okay, that is a clean miss. Yeah. And uh, the one Invincible. behind is going to attack Samil. <laughs> Comes in at you, hissing. Filled with that leprous contagion again. Um, let's see. This one actually is trying not to claw you, but to bite you. Um, and uh, let's see. This is going to be a 16. Um, did that, uh, does that hit your armor class series? My armor class is 18. So it does not. Okay, so that's a miss. He then swings away with his claw. This is what I'm talking about. Subsod is not a real person. Um, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Uh, I think I know who that is. Okay. And uh, let's see. Oh, that thanks, one. Jonas. 17. Uh, that does not hit you either, I assume. You said 18, right? So, no, that misses too. So, both of them are clear misses. Okay, so they miss. You guys I'm are safe. Scared. And now, you guys, please, would roll initiative. Everybody does this. Um, and yep. the way this works um, is you're going to roll a uh, 20-sided die. Um, and normally, what you do, Samil, is you <laughs> add your initiative bonus to it. Um, <laughs> I think through. I just fell over. You got an initiative of zero? How is that even possible? He has a minus one. He just straight up turned to stone. What? <laughs> thank you. Thank you, God. I'll feel the cat. So Fig is like... Fig is just like stop dead. Like, whoo. <laughs> like... <laughs> Oh my oh, god. Alright, that's well. that's tremendous. I'm gonna wow, just go ahead no and put gonna roll over ten yet. Come on. Come thing on, at the bottom. Uh, uh, yes! There this you. is my day. So series, you're gonna roll the twenty sided die and you're gonna add your um bonus to it. Uh your your uh dexterity bonus is usually what it is for your initiative. So and then tell me what that number is. It's fourteen. Fourteen, okay. Okay, uh what does everyone else got? I have uh, 17. I'm not sure I've ever seen a zero on an initiative. That's you're gonna, you're gonna <laughs> really amazing. 17. Okay. I have no ambition. I got 14. No, no, no initiative. <laughs> I have no ambition. No initiative. <laughs> Whoa. That was Whoa. that was mentioned. You'll oh, all be happy crap. to hear. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, Kate has a five. I kind of forgot about her, by the way. I'm glad she's still with us. Yeah. I think it's. I think. I think it's actually makes sense that you got a five, John. <laughs> well, yeah. No kidding. By the way, is Stampy coming into the fight for on my behalf? By the way, he is there. Uh, yes, Stampy is there. Um, Good. and he's gonna move on your, you know, on mm -hmm. your initiative mm -hmm. track basically because you have okay. him as in control. Okay. Uh, okay. Domdor, what did you get? I got a four. Wow, you guys are like, you are yeah. just as stunned uh, as you should be for most of the time. kind of hanging back here. Oh, like, it's almost like they haven't moved for a month or something. <laughs> yeah. Must get legs <laughs> moving again. Even more hair. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, Optic, what'd you get? I got 14. Okay, what's your dexterity, Optic? Um, it's 15. Uh, I already have the modifier in okay, there, Okay, series, what is your uh, dex? 14, so I have the plus 2 that's in there. Alright, so you have a dex of 14, and you've got 15, alright, so you will go first. Alright. I think that's already calculated in that, right? Yeah, I'm. Uh, but you guys did tie together um, on the initiative roll, oh, so then you. these are tiebreakers. So, Alright, Mention is first to act, um, and she is going to move forward and do so. Um, I don't even know what to say about that. Thank you, maybe, for that follow -up. Uh, let's see, um, and for this one we will put, let's see, let's make her into that. There we go, okay. Alright, um, so she is going to move forward, um, yeah, let's look I have no idea how to fill this stupid square with color, it's driving me crazy. <laughs> you know, no, just pick the, the, when you, when you do the draw like, shape... Yeah. When you when you do the draw shape, you see how there's two boxes next to regular? Yeah. The right one's the fill in box, so you have to do the same color in both boxes. And then you get the uh Okay. The box. Or you can draw a little picture, select the whole thing and then move it around. Okay. Yeah. So, um, all right. So, uh, mention goes uh, goes zooming up, not having been as surprised as the rest of you. Um, and Except however, does not. Really work yes, well. um, and and throws uh, practically wow. throws her uh, sword over your head. Um, it embeds itself into a pillar. I don't doesn't actually throw it, but she uh, swings over the head of the uh, lizard man, which hisses at her. Just damn it! 
Um, she's pretty upset about it, obviously. Um, and yeah, uh, as she's cursing at her ill luck, uh, Soleil is the next one to be able to act here. Okay. I was actually here. I was fiddling around. <clears throat> um, so... <laughs> it's miser. <laughs> what are all these things? Like, um, they're all... The green things are all lizard men. Everyone else are oh, okay. your friends. The diseased lizard men we ran into in the swamp. Yes. And that's mentioned next to me, right here? Uh, yes, mentioned just ran up next to you. Okay. In the all reddish. I, then I will uh, use one of my magic missiles to hit the one that she is attempting to assail. Um, Where are, are you? Uh, are you No, that's I'm Foma's the, I'm tiny face. I'm the blue block. You're the blue. Is that within, is that within like, they're going to hit me or exactly, the pro Exactly. The problem is if you do that, they'll have a chance to get off an attack on you while you're waving about. Now, you can try to... Now, you could, if you wish, you could certainly back up a square and do that, because especially with mention on them, you can disengage safely. So you could back up a square and then fire away if you want to do that. I was thinking about doing Shock and Grasp instead. So if I'm within melee range, might as well. Uh, oh, Shock, shock and Grasp? Enough, son. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. Okay. She's yeah. like, so he's like, instead of backing up, I'm going to grasp you. Wait, I thought you had two uh, magic missiles. No, do you, is that is shock and grasp I plus? I do have two magic missiles, but I'd prefer not to cast one if it's going to get me skewered. No, but I just meant you also had a shock and grasp. Is, is grasp a cantrip? Shock and grasp. A is, it's a cantrip. Oh, okay, okay, that's fine. Gotcha. Uh, yep. Shocking grasp is a cantrip. Thanks. I'm shocked. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I kind of am. Okay, guys, I'm going to say it one more time. Please stop with the false with the fake followers. Please, if it's yeah, uh, if it happens again, I'm just going to cancel the follower notifications. F getting a follower is a really awesome thing, so I'd really appreciate it if we not make up fake names. Okay, the joke's been made. Please stop. Thank you. Okay, go ahead, Inum. Okay, uh, I need a dexterity check from the guy in range. Okay, um, let's see what Twice he's takes uh, one d eight lightning and can't move until next turn. All right, or can't take reactions or whatever. I mean, you can always move way off to doing this. Oh, and if it's wearing, um, if it's wearing heavy armor, it has a disadvantage on the saving throw. What is the DC? The, the DC. difficulty? That's going to be over here. It's, I think you're plus one, because you're level one. Uh, of course, I didn't write that down. Hold on, I've got it on my thing, on my paper. What's up, Trendy? Good to see you, man. Okay, I'll record this after this. Uh... Your <clears throat> intelligence, which is 13. DC of 13. What's up, Capros Mike? What's going on, Mike? That's uh, Mike Underwood, um, who is an author. Good to see you, Mike. I'm sorry, say that again. Uh, you know? DC of 13. DC of 13, okay. He does make that based on the roll I just made. Um, okay. That you can then, see. Uh, so he is not shocked, but is he grasped or, or no? Uh, succeed on, uh... Otherwise, he takes 1d8 and can't take reactions. I think it just misses them. Okay, so he slaps away your grasp. Essentially, yes. And then he or, goes, just like, or does like an expert like Anderson Silver Dodge or something. And then he goes, <laughs> right at that time. Okay. Uh, is that, there is we that go. a draconic hiss? <laughs> exactly, it's a draconic. Yeah, but it sort of sounds like you suck. Like, it, there's no, you know, okay. it's, not, it's not very distinctive. It's not like he's saying, That's if you only understand my language, you can know we're not trying to hurt you. No, he's not saying that. Okay, uh, Jeannie, you are up next. Who's the the red on the map here? That's a uh, mention. The okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Sod, you're the black. I'm ops. the black. Yep. Okay. Little <clears throat> it looks like gray on ops for some strange reason. Oh, that's no, black. Okay. So the <clears throat> which one are which or any of them are damaged? <laughs> None <laughs> of your own pe of your own people. Your Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Kate is the damaged. No, no, the, nobody the else. The dark red was quite threatened, but we didn't do crap to him. All right. So what if I moved over to here? Okay. I think you're moving, Fing. No, nope, nope. that's me. Okay, right, that's him. My bad, Fing. You're the black, with the orange border. Yeah. Gotcha. Now, what if I tried to? Um... Yes, I am drinking law. I'm drinking Virgil's root beer. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Slow down, Irv. Slow down. <laughs> Shut up, I can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go what ahead. I, sorry, I'm what if I tried to charm him? Or, you know, charm the one that's an immediate threat to these guys? Uh, you could give that a try if you want. Um, where are you going to mm -hmm. do it from, though? Or and, also, and also, is charm touch or range? Or could I ray a frost him? Frost him? Just frost him. Um, but is right. that... 
I That's think, a cantrip. Yeah, I think you could probably get... It's a little crowded in there, but you could probably get... If you move up a little bit, you can probably get enough... Well, actually, if you move to the right of the pillar where you are, to the left as we look at it, you mm -hmm. got two, like... <laughs> you've got two of them that are standing right there that you could Ray of Frost easily. Charm is 25 feet. Thank you for the follow, Mike, 117. Char Charm is 25 feet. <laughs> So I'll stay right there okay. so that I can easily shift back like that behind the pillar should I need to. Okay. And I will... Yeah, charm away. Or Ray of Frost. Frost him. Frost Actually, yeah, I, should, I, should, I shouldn't keep it. I shouldn't keep it. Well, no, I can... I, if I can do two... If I can do a cantrip and a spell, I could Frost <clears> them in Magic Missile. You can uh, only do one... Wait, can you do that? A cantrip Art? is still... Uh, like, check, check the cantrip, see how... See what type of action it says, but I'm pretty. Yeah, no, Ray, it would still be an action. And I'm almost. Ray of Frost is still an action. Yeah. yeah. Okay, then I'll do the frost to at least keep them immobile. Okay. There you go. Proceed. I like the way you think. Is that a saving throw on his part, or is it a uh, is it a attack roll that you make with that spell? And while you guys are discussing this, I'm gonna go ahead and log my DC so I don't keep forgetting to do this. Makes sense. Yeah, the program is called Roll20, by the way. Welcome, everybody, by the way. Uh, wonderful to see all of you. 75 people so far. It's great. Um, this cool. is um, Infinity and Beyond playing D&D uh, &D Next. Um, this, by the way, for those of you who might be experts on D&D &D Next, because uh, I know they just released the basic rules, this is uh, about a seven-month out-of-date <laughs> system because I got it last year at Gen Con. Um, we're going to be finishing up these adventures. Uh, when we're done with these adventures, then probably these guys will either keep their characters or will start new ones with the the D, &D Next rules, which will be out by then, so in case yeah. anyone's curious. But you should follow all these wonderful people. Um, you should follow Saad, uh, you should follow Series Runner, you should follow Anominatus, you should follow Optic Nerve Productions, um, and you should follow, of course, King Foom. Uh, John, you can't follow because he doesn't stream, but you should definitely okay, guys, check out need, John's work. Uh, I'll be right so. back. I got a pallet with my desk today. I need to help a buddy huh? loaded into his truck. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. Um, all right, so uh, Optic, go ahead and make your roll. Have you figured it out yet? or? I'm trying to find the cantrip section. Thank you, Orlando. Find a... It should be all, all under. The... It should all just be under the, the same in thing. The book, yeah. Yeah, this there oh, shouldn't well. be like a cantrip thing just by itself. Thanks, Cambridge. Oh, yeah, it's Ray of Frost like... casting time one action attack roll against a creature within range. You have a bonus to the roll equal to your magic ability modifier plus your spell casting bonus, if any. So basically, make an attack roll is what you do first of all, optic. God, I've not had it with fireworks. It's the ninth. Mm -hmm. More fireworks. Good God. <laughs> oh, yeah, thank you, Cambridge. Oh, thank you very life. much, Cambridge. Thanks, dude. Cambridge, New York City, who you should also be following, by the way, is partly mm -hmm. he and Lawkeeper are responsible so you, for sir. the Cambridge bot. So thanks. Right, What's up cool. with intent? <clears throat> All right. I just need to roll a regular D twenty. Roll the D twenty, and then we'll do the bonuses up. But oh. nice. I'm pretty sure that's nice. gonna hit. Yeah, that should be a very palpable hit. Yes, that is going to hit. Okay, um, so go ahead and roll damage. It's 1d8 cold damage, and its speed is reduced by 10 feet until your next turn. So I will take that into account. But go ahead and roll your oh, uh, damage. Oh, it should be dead by next turn, so... Okay. Okay. All righty. Um, let's see here. So that's pretty much the one on me, right? The one that's um, top left, I think. Let's just checking something. Yeah, I think so. On a moment. It's it's this one, I presume. Okay, I figured it's the one. It's the one that you can see, but you have direct line of sight on, which is right next to me. So yeah, exactly. Yep. And okay. I would be destroyed. Uh, oh, give me one second. That's true. That is a lot of damage for a cantrip, isn't it? That's one d eight. Yeah, um. that's longsword damage. I mean, that's pretty cool, but holy cow! And it reduces movement. It slows his movement down, so it's like a two effect cantrip. Like bang. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. So you uh, zap it, and it um, freezes, and it kind of looks at you, turns around balefully, and it goes, <laughs> but it's kind of shivering, so it's like, <laughs> wouldn't it just know, be like slower, like, like <laughs> it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it looks almost like Tai Chi, like some, some combination. Um, and the other one behind it also turns and looks at you angrily. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, good. Look, so. look at the mage. Perfect, perfect. That's exactly <laughs> right, right, great. What's up, help? How you doing, yes, man? I, I have no problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're all we're all uh, actually reading it. Welcome in, uh, help fallen, help I've fallen, um, okay. which is which applies to Kate at the moment. I use minor illusion to make myself look like serious. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> okay, uh, all right. The lizard men go. You'll all be happy to know. First of all, um, the uh, one that uh, 
was slowed um, is in fact uh, moves towards you and although it's slowed it's not frozen so it's actually able to get up to you now as it's moving out of the way believe it or not Cade you will have an opportunity to um, actually swing at its feet um, you're gonna be at Perfect. a negative because you're lying on your back but it's actually not paying any attention to you at all because it's so okay. angry that it's been frozen so you can uh, try to roll an attack against it as it walks away from you all right here's the, here's the question for you Arv if you're considering Stampy to be a hostile creature to the Lizard Man and it's within five feet, do oh, yeah. get my sneak attack ability? Yeah, for sure it's hostile. I'd say that's true. Right, rock on. Okay, yeah. let's do it. All right. I uh, just need my... I mean, Stampy's Stampy technically sword? hostile to everyone in its vicinity, so I'd say... Except, well, except for me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, except for okay, you, gotcha. yes. Most yes. of the time. All right. Yeah, most of exactly. All right. I can't... Is it blocked? Uh, let's see. That would be 13. Okay, um, that is a hit. Awesome. Sneak attack damage. This thing's going down. Okay. Boom. <laughs> nice. And that would be 11 points of damage. Wow, you are right. Damn. So you just, you like, you basically, um, you're attacking with daggers, right? Uh, short sword. Oh, short sword. Okay, so what, mm -hmm. so at, from your from your knees, so Stampy hisses uh, basically at it. Shh. And the lizard man looks back at it. Shh. And in that moment, you take your sword and slash across both Achilles' tendons. Exactly. Doo -doo, and it falls to the ground, boosh, and then falls over dead. Yep. And the other one looks at you and is like... Very nice. Um, <laughs> it shakes his head. That's you know, funny. He's like, really? Yeah, um, I'm about to have this guy on me, though, is the problem, I think. So that's going to be a little tricky. Whoops, sorry. That's not what I meant to do. Nope, it's not what I meant to do either. Uh, okay. Actually, that worked. That couldn't have worked much better, except now the other one's going to come and probably step on me. <clears throat> okay. So, um, yes. Now, the second one comes, having uh, been very upset at what it just saw, um, <laughs> as you can, I think, understand. Um, yep. I don't blame him. Why you no move? Move. Darn it. <coughs> why you no move? Sod, what am I grabbing onto when I... There we go. I got it. <laughs> okay. So, he moves over to you uh, and is going yep. to swing down. First with its claw. Thank you, JB Lover. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. I think you might have just missed me, maybe, if I'm All lucky. All right, let's see. Um, well, you are a lot easier to hit as you are on the ground. Well, that's true. I'm prone. Um, know. What is your AC? 14, regular. Yeah, that's going to hit. So um, so he's going to hit, first of all, with his claws. Yeah. Um, let me see how much I might be. I might be going unconscious here very shortly. Sorry, last question I promised, Sod. How do I do the one that's just for the GM roll? Uh, I think you do slash GMR, I think. No, I do, is that the only way to do it? There's no way to do it just from the dice roller? Yeah, you, yeah. oh, through the dice roller. Um, the sh the, I don't think so, actually. Okay, all right. Unless there's a little tick or something that you do. Yeah, no, it's all right. I'll have to check it out later. That's fine. Um, okay, so... Okay, Ooh. so uh, once again we have um, three damage that Ow. it does to you, and oh, oh boy, and that burning sensation that I mentioned it before this time is not going away. Yeah, of um, not. It settles into your torso, so you take another three Ow. points of damage. You feel this burning sensation, and now it reaches down to bite you. Crap. Okay. Miss. Oh. That's not a miss. Jeez. Um, uh, that is I'm not a out. miss. Um, okay, let's see. Fortunately, the bite is not as strong. Alright, that's gonna be another three points of damage. Um, at zero. Shinobi. Okay. Cade is down. Cade is down. Yep. yep. Down, down, down. Let's see. Um, ways to, way to catch lizard herpes, basically. Yeah. <laughs> that's more or less accurate. Okay, so Cade, so you hear Cade give out a cry. <laughs> And Isn't then, that the yeah. second time he's contracted it? Um, I think uh, it's yeah, possible. I, I, yes. Yes, I got it. I was tagged one time, yeah. So luckily I healed. He takes care of it. Pray <laughs> for Fassian's Lord's net. Thank you for the follow, whoever the prey was. Um, okay. Uh, all right. Meanwhile, the other two have got problems. Um, the other two lizard men. One of them is going to attack Mention immediately. Um, so it swings in with its claws. Ooh. Damn, boy. They're rolling pretty well this time. Yeah. 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 
Who is this person that's with us again? Mention is um, someone who joined you at Crom's Hold, sort of a guide fighter type who has been pretty effective she, she for you guys, actually. She has knowledge of the swamp area. Yeah. But she and, hasn't gone and he's a pretty damn good fighter, too. Yep. Um, okay. So this one slashes her, and she kind of gives out a cry. Doesn't seem to be affected by, uh, you know, I mean, you can't really tell, but it isn't, she doesn't seem to be, like, noticing the wound more than normal, so you don't know whether that means she wasn't affected by the, you know, the wound or what um, too much, but in any case... Um, and then, uh, let's see, the, uh, bite attack, however, is going to miss. The second one moves in here on Domdor and is going to, uh, run gotcha in back, and buddy. swing down. That's, that's oh, the last mistake oh, he'll ever make. Well, plow. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> so, let's these, see. These guys um, learned from their brothers in the swamp somehow. They've got, like, tactics and everything. Yep, so <laughs> that is going to be, um, that's going to do seven, um, Slashing wow. damage to you. They're domesticated. <laughs> However, uh, you do not feel the burning way. sensation that was mentioned previously. Uh, then it tries to bite. What's up, Ray? Welcome in, man. Ooh, I was sitting on 19 for a minute, uh, but that's going to miss. Um, okay, and then the four uh, beetles continue to play. Abs They're still focusing on whatever their meal is over there. Um, okay, Samil, you're up. Samil's the AFK, bro. <laughs> He's oh. not even in his stinging seat, man. What a no, lame. What? No, You're Samil. You. You're Samil. Oh, I thought you said Salil. <laughs> I need to change my name or something, dude. Call me yeah, Adam. Yeah, right. those are a little too close. Yeah, no, no, that's true. That's true. I, I just love Samil Adams. I love it. Anyway, so Sammy. Sammy Adams. Yeah, what's up, buddy? You're up, uh, Winter Ale. All right, well, um, what do I have? A two-handed sword, right? So I'm going to chop at one of the... Uh, the lizard men. Yeah, so basically in combat, by the way, you have a couple of at you can move and then attack, attack and then move, um, and then other things will take an action. For instance, if you tried to go over and save Cade's life as he sits there bleeding on the floor, you know, that would also be an action. So I'm um, just letting you know different options, and you can ask me if you're not sure, but certainly swinging yeah. away is fine. Um, All right, so is there something where, like, I mean, I know in some games you, like, once you attack, then you can't move again? That's not what this is. No, you can definitely move after this. Okay. All right. So well, go ahead, and what you're going to do is roll a 20-sided die, which is that if you click the little dice roller, you see a little dice icon in the sidebar there, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. and then they'll, you'll be able to roll a d20. And what, what am I what am I rolling for here? Um, you're rolling to hit um, the creature. I assume you're aiming for the one right next to Domdor and you, or is yeah, that not right? Yeah, that's probably the best idea. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, shouldn't the assume. One next to Cade has to like step over him to get to us, so that he yes, you know, he'll he'll take a little while to get there. So I guess I'll try to save Domdor. Okay. Since you just got critted. All right. Is that good? 12? Uh, do you have now? Do you have um, now to that? You're going to be adding uh, bonuses from uh, your strength bonus. My strength modifier is three. Okay. So plus three. <laughs> Thank you, sir, who just joined me to follow. Um, <laughs> so you're going to add plus three. Um, and then is there any bonus to your weapon that you see? Do you have like. Uh, let's see here. Proficiency modifier. Correct. Like it would say, it would say actually next to uh, the weapon slot itself. Probably not, though. I'm guessing. My uh, my great sword just says attack plus five, and then the damage. Oh, attack so plus five. Have, that's what I, that's so what I was looking at. So you have a plus. Bonus. So plus right. So that oh, means. Oh, and then the proficiency is three. So total. So your total would be plus five is your attack total. So then, um, okay. so twelve plus five is a seventeen, I believe, is what you're dealing with. Um, and that absolutely hits. So remind me again one more time. The plus five is the it's two for proficiency and then three for for your strength, strength bonus. Yep. Thank yep. you, Big Enough okay. Three. Got it. All right, and then I roll a damage dice. Is that right? Correct. That'd and the 12, damage yeah. is should be a twelve for the two side for the two handed. Yeah. Yes. It says one d twelve plus three. There you go. And that's for the. God, that is a lot of damage. Yep. Can't the let, plus three is last. from is the strength model. Okay, I'm just trying to like keep, I'm right. keep this in my head. Yep. Yep. No worries. Right. And shouldn't go go. Alright, eight. Nice. So eight plus, plus three. three. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and that actually is enough to kill it. Um, so it actually hey, drops to the ground. Yes. Your nice. first attack is a successful All right, one. Ever. Yeah. Alright, now what? Bravo. Making Dumbo look bad. <laughs> hey, it's alright, man. You had, you had a little I'm bit of a disadvantage, yet, right? So You're like three feet tall. Hey, so. you, can t you can take the guy out who just took me down, thank you very much. So it's all plenty left for you, buddy. Good to see you, Infamous Gamer. And hello to everybody that I haven't seen so far uh, who came into chat. Thank you all so much for joining this. Alright, so, uh, Series, you moving away? Or um, you, are you staying where you are? Or what do you want to do? Uh, I think I want to move next to Cade 
uh, if Domdor wants to take out, I don't know. I think with the red, blue, and black taking out the guy on the right, I should go help Cade, I'm okay. guessing. Yeah. Or at least try to help. Yeah, that, yeah that's, a good, that's a good idea. All right, so I, where do I move? Just Whoop. next to him here? That's yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yep, because you got plenty of, you know, <laughs> step on <laughs> crazy. Okay. Ow! <laughs> like, step right on top of him. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's uh, now Cade's turn. Cade, you're going to get a chance to, um, first of all, do the uh, the whole death save thing, and then you'll have a chance to uh, deal with Stampy. Um, oh. But what first of all... Right, right, so for uh, the way that the death save works... Never done this before. Yeah, um, this happened before with Fing... Um, okay, so, uh, yes, yeah. so in this situation, what you need to do is make a special constitution saving throw, um, and it's DC 10, so you're going to roll 20 sided die and add your con modifier. Okay, well, I actually have a con modifier. Yay! Okay, uh, did a standard, uh, it should be that, boop, and two, and submit. Boom. Let's do it. Yes, I rolled a 16 nice. total. Okay, so what that means is that um, there is no effect. Um, you are Nothing happens one way or the other. The way this works, series, in case you're wondering, is if he fails three of these, then he's dead dead. So if he fails three, then he's gone unless you can figure out a way to resurrect him. Um, at the moment, he's basically unconscious. The other way that he can die is if one of the lizard men decides that he looks like a really tempting target they can basically try to wipe him from the face of the earth and if he gets to his negative um uh hit point value so your hit points what's your maximum Cade? normally eight so if you eight. get to negative eight then he's also dead dead um so three successes three failures means that he's out three successes means that he's stable and he will no longer continue to lose you know have to make those death saving throws so that's so it's like a really shortcut. it's like a really risky form of like trying to get out of jail and monopoly that's basically it yeah exactly and again that can be adjusted by people trying to give him a hand as well um okay so now we can deal with stampy um even stampy goes before me uh yes even stampy goes before you and and sod stampy goes before sod also so so stampy um yeah so so stampy looks around and is kind of like you know um, and looks around and hisses. Um, right. Um, <laughs> again, not, not funny. All right. Um, the, where do we go? Dragonling. Avenge me, Stampy. Avenge there we go. Consciousness. Okay. Um, so, um, you guys, so he can, uh, he can certainly make his attack. Um, so he will have the opportunity to attack. Now, you don't technically have full control, but this is an easy one because it's right next to the one that just saw attack you. So he actually right. reaches out and tries to bite the hell out of the lizard man that's right underneath him. Um, yep. And so I'll let you make the roll for him. 20-sided okay. die again. Stampy, go. Yeah. Go, Stampy, exactly. go. <laughs> I, gotta, I have to remember it's going to be a straight roll. Who's Stampy again? Uh, 14. He's a, he's a, he's a dragon. dragon. doesn't count. Hatchling. I don't know. What, I don't know. What bonuses has oh, what he's the hatchling. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that is in fact going to hit, um, and I will roll Stampy. his damage. Mm -hmm. As I said, avenge me. Nice. Nice. Okay. nice. Um, good. All right. So that's going to do um, some damage to it. I won't tell you the exact number because um, it's not right. quite that number you saw, but it's. Um, but he okay. looks—he looks fairly messed up. I mean, he's not dead, nice. but he definitely looks yeah. unhappy. Um, and uh, also, uh, you can't really tell. Well, you can't tell anything else because you're unconscious. But <laughs> just, just let it be known beyond the void that um, that Stampy was helping you out. Okay. Um, now we get to Domdor, um, who has okay. finally recovered enough from his shock. Yes. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna head around and flank. If possible. Oh, yes. look at you! <laughs> oh, good. oh my god! <laughs> Man, that's pretty sound good? That's funny, well, monkey. I'm sorry. Doing? I was. I'm sorry. I was laughing at the. Um... A thousand, a thousand apologies, guys. I went upstairs to help with that pallet, and immediately. Well, we're all just... dead. So it's still not your turn yet. But, but <laughs> it, yeah, but fortunately, you missed out. You, know, you missed no, out. Right. Uh, series getting fun. getting his first hit, first kill. Yeah. In one thing. Stampy uh, attacked. Kate got knocked out. And uh, everyone else is hey, hey, hey. Thank you for the follow, Soda Bomb. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, I, I would, that was a really cool idea, but unfortunately, got back before I could do it. And yeah, it's going to take too long for me to figure it out to figure out how to set it up. But that's pretty awesome, though. Good, good job, EXE and Monkey. Good job, EXE. Terrible people. <laughs> okay, um, so Domdor, um, you see the Sorry, tactical can I go situation in front of you. Like that and flank. And go for an attack. Uh, so wait, wait, yes. Whoa, whoa. What the hell happened while I was gone? Right. A lot of well, lot of lizard died. Well, Cade, Cade is dead at the moment. He's unconscious, unconscious? anyway. Just, just 
Um, Stampy <laughs> killed a lizard man, or is, but actually hurt a lizard man. Um, uh, Samil killed a lizard man, and uh, and Kate also, also uh, and also um, by the way. right, and uh, also Ginny also um, froze a lizard man who was then killed by Cade's sneak attack before he was. And, killed. I, and I just sat of the sat here with the thumb up my butt, right? Yes. Right. Okay. Cool. And, and Stampy even bit one, so Stampy is avenging my unconsciousness. Nice. All right, come on, Dom. So roll attack. Um, take, is it advantage or a bonus one for a flank attack? I'm oh. sorry, say that again. Sorry. So uh, I'm I'm moving around the flank and attack the lizard man. Is it a advantage roll or is it a yes? Bonus it's going to be an advantage roll. Also because okay. the dra at the moment it's very concerned about the black dragon's wormling in front of it. Uh, so it is definitely an advantage roll. So what that means, by the way, series, um, is that he's going to roll. When I say that he has advantage, it means that he rolls two 20-sided dice and takes the higher of the two results. If he has disadvantage, he does the same thing but takes the lower of the two results. So. And that's for right. to hit? Uh, that correct, that's here? to hit. Yes, yes to correct. Hit. Interesting. That's a cool system. So 15. So it's a 20. 20 yes, hit. absolutely hits. <laughs> With and a Thor attack. Yeah. Yep. yep. I think this thing is going to be dead. <clears throat> And yeah, I know exactly, monkey. Yeah, uh, don't. Yeah, don't worry about the glowing beetles over there. They all self-destruct when the lizardmen die. What's up, love shack? Yeah, Five I know the damage. only. Five damage. Five damage. Let us to that. I got. Demise, I got a two for damage. Believe it or not. Oh no! Wait. Sorry. Wait. No. 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 That's wrong. That's wrong. What is it? Yeah. Sorry, you, wrote, my you, thing you, was wrong. you rolled a five. Yeah. Yeah. Don't I'm you do like do ten times that amount? Twelve plus five. Sorry. Oh, that sucks, Stig. <laughs> Ten damage. Ten damage. Ten damage right. He dies yeah, quite, nice. quite strongly. Um, especially since um, he had already been... There we go. Since he had already been hit pretty badly by Stampy. Okay. Um, and so Domdor is there. And you also see the currently injured Cade, the very, very unconscious Cade. And having seen all of what occurred, thank you for the follow, Sindhu. Welcome to the Yarvanauts. Fing, you finally are like, huh? Oh. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Awesome. And I'm just gonna. You're do at the something. entrance, dude. Yeah, he he was. Like, I've never seen a zero. I'm telling you, it's so funny. All right, um, you're up, Fing. Would uh, spare the dying be a viable option for uh, our buddy Cade here? Uh, except that I think you have to be yes if you can get to him. Um, because I think you have to be next to him to do it, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's only like 20 feet away. Yeah, you can get to him. No, that's fine. That's fine. Because they're occupied with other stuff. Okay. Um. That's my turn then. So basically, he just gets one hit point back and should be a week. Stabilized. Okay. Yay, stable. Excellent. So you're at. So he's at one hit point. Just one. Yep. Okay. Re regains Excellent. one hit point. Don't well, make those. Don't make those stupid checks. I'll take it. Thanks for the follow, Sith. Although I feel like I should say what Inom always does. Really, 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 <laughs> Sith. Because like you weren't following me already. What's up, man? What's up, Dale Donut? Now that's a good name right there, Dale Donut. Thank you for the follow, sir. Okay. So he is. Uh, yes. Yeah, so Cade does one of these. <gasps> you know, like, comes back. He's like, what's going on? You see uh, a lot of dead lizard men, and you see um, the somewhat drunken form of Fing looking over you, smiling hey, with a thumbs up, you know. I've never been happier to see him. <laughs> um, Stampy! Okay, so uh, Fing does... Uh, it was either that or shoot sacred flame at the beetles, so I figured this <laughs> would probably work out a little bit That better. would have been funny, but probably it's been done. Thank um, you for holding, yeah, thank you it's for been holding off for a turn. All right, and uh, now Mention, um, we're back to the top of the round. Mention gets a chance to go after the one remaining um, lizard man. Mm, um, but that is not going to get it done. Um, Mention is not, the, the dice have not been kind um, to Mention this time around. Soliel, uh, you're, you are up. You are still standing next to the one remaining undamaged lizard man, which looks considerably more nervous than it did about 15 seconds ago. Okay, <laughs> so you were saying earlier, I can back up and fire without risk of counterattack or not? Yes, you can. You can disengage from it, especially because Mention is on the Lizard Man right now. I will do that, and I'm going to throw one of my magic missiles at it. Okay, um, at its face. I and by one, I mean the entire spell at it. At its face. <laughs> at its face. <laughs> let, me roll, let me get to my magic To the missile. face! Good to see Which you, Sith. Is uh three darts of magical force, so a dart deals one d four plus one. Do you want me to roll those individually, or can I roll three? Yeah, I have to do those individual. Never mind. Do, 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 ba, ba. I like it when the book answers the questions before I do. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to? Oh, I have to do it. <laughs> yep. So all three Aww. darts going at that guy. Okay. Four plus one on each of them. Let me get my dice thing well, over the, here. The sound effect, by the way. Pew pew pew. Like what's what's your? <laughs> <laughs> 
To, well, if you want me to roleplay it, what I'm doing is I, I disengage, so I take a step back, ready right. my staff, and these are going to be flying out the end of it in a quick little, like, machine gun-like fashion. Did you say oh, your Gatorade nice. is flying out of it? What did you just show? No. <laughs> it looked awesome. That's a machine gun. Oh, okay. I'm putting my staff out <laughs> Okay, all right. I saw it, it looked like your Gatorade. Like, I'm like, that would be I really go badass. Is go yes! Flying at the Gatorade! No. <laughs> we'll be flying down the link of the staff right at its base. Awesome. But, okay. Nice color, nice color text. Nice color, nonetheless. Like, make like make the, the rolls, like please. Yeah. It looks a little nervous. Why is it stalling? You gonna, you gonna go there, roll 20? Um, that's a four-sided, though. You're gonna wanna... He's doing damage. It. It's, it's an auto-hit. Oh, they all, they're auto-hits? Yes. Isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they cool. are it's, auto Magic Missile's always been auto-hit. No, know. but they're in, in, no, we, in we 4E, they, last time yeah, 4E, it went, went away from the auto-hit again. Okay. Oh, God. There's a second one, and the third's coming up. I think this guy's gonna be dead. I think my laptop is quite laggy or something because it's taking a while. All right, we got it all. Um, so those 3D dice, man. I'll tell you what. So ten takes a lot. <laughs> this thing's pretty intense. <laughs> I did buy the cheapest laptop in the store. <laughs> it's like a netbook. <laughs> it's run by a squirrel. Well, your problem, guys. This is like, my 386. I, I, Shut up. I was like, I need a laptop. He's like, well, we've got some awesome Intel Sons. I'm like, <laughs> I cast magic no, missile at the dark. I'm reading chat with this. Exactly, Stig. <laughs> What's up, J. Row? Okay, so ten total damage. Yeah. All right, it is really messed up, but it is not dead. But it's real, oh. real messed up. It looks like a stiff breeze could blow it over at this point. Uh, Ginny, so you see the tactical situation before you. You have an almost dead lizard man, and it looks like Cade has been brought back by some magical uh, healing power of things. Probably just tipped alcohol on the cake. <laughs> just a little drop, of, just a little drop of bourbon. <laughs> oh. When no one's looking, he like like makes some spell sounds and everything, but all he's really doing yeah, is taking some like, Jack just, Daniels. Just and like, <laughs> fake words. I am backing random. up my block to denote the disengage. There we go. Gotcha. Thank you. All right, Optic. I will move, move and do the same thing. Um, well, is this, is it going to be safe for me to shoot at this guy without harming these two? Without harming um, red and blue. Magic missile is unerring. So it will go straight to him if that's what you're using. Yeah, then oh. I'll I'll magic missile that last lizard man. Uh, okay, so you'll magic missile him. Go to it then. Okay. How many of them do you get? Like, um, is that the set you all still also have three or? Yeah, yeah, level one it's three, and then okay. I think every five levels onwards it's an extra one, something like that. Uh, um, yeah, whenever you cast it as second level or higher. Second level. So you, so you can cast it more as like at a higher level as you get more. You don't you don't need to roll to attack. Yeah, no, they auto hit. Yeah, you got auto hit exactly. Okay. I can't believe it took that away in four E in fourth edition. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. That's the it, whole beauty of magic missile is just like <laughs> screw yep. you, take damage. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the mages. They were doing those for other reasons. Equalizer. Um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we okay. lost Josh for so a minute. I think you just there have to go. roll three d fours. Back in cool. Right. And add one to each one. There we go. Um, all right. Yep. So go ahead and uh, yeah, exactly. So you rolled you rolled three d four and add one to each one, as he said. Yes, exactly. Let me just repeat what Saad just said <laughs> for absolutely no reason. In case, in case you didn't hear the first <laughs> yeah. time. One more time. <laughs> so it'd be three d four plus three, right? Yep. Yes. Yeah, basically. You could do that. See, I thought you didn't want me to do that. That's well, I, I guess, I guess, parts. yeah. Oh. I mean. Oh. Actually, does it matter? I mean, well, well because it's technically it's one technically per. I guess it doesn't really matter. I guess it doesn't really matter. Parts. I mean, they're all going to hit anyways. Yeah. Because you're getting three no matter how you look. Yeah, I guess you're. I guess that's true. No so you can do that next time, and um, I guess that's true. Huh? Lamo. All right. I might. I might still do it the way I do it, just for. Okay. So uh, that last one is you blow it the heck up. It's actually overkill. I kill my computer. So the uh, so the uh, <laughs> missiles actually um, obliterate its its brain. It just slams into it, and there's a spray of blood, and it topples back um, onto uh, its back and is dead. Um, and uh, you all look at each other like very uh, you know sort of excited about um, what's happened. And um, at the moment. <laughs> And at the moment, um, everything seems to be relatively quiet, except for the um, beetles. We're still in initiative, though. Um, so, let's see. Uh, that was Genie. Uh, Genie, do you want to move, or are you good where you are? I'm okay where I am. It keeps me in between those two in case I have to charm anything. <clears throat> okay. Um, in that case, we're going to move on to... Thank you. I just want to say goodnight. <laughs> oh, snap. Love you. 
It's a little arv. Um, <laughs> this is it's my daughter. Arv. It's an arvling. Uh, it's an arvling. <laughs> it's an arvling. <laughs> arvling. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's it's an uh, it's an Arvling. Uh, it's, it's my daughter who got a, a clean bill of health well, with her yearly physical. Well. So I was very glad. Thank you, sweetheart. Nice. Very good to hear. Very good to hear. Yep. Yes. All good. So you said we're still in an initiative for for what reason? Because the DM the has said so. Oh. The well, they haven't alone. moved towards us or anything. So you know, That's it's just the DM is is uh, we're okay. still in initiative right so, now. So yes, so we are still in initiative. Yes. Um, and uh, that was Samil. <laughs> so Samil, you can sort of you know look around if you like, um, or kind of you know you have the chance to move around and take actions, but you are still in initiative at the moment. All right. Uh, so first I'm going to look over to, uh, Domdor and be like, hey bro, what should I do with my life? <laughs> That's actually a free action. <laughs> Good, because I need his help. <laughs> what do you think, man? You want me to move towards him? What do you, what do you... Um, I, I have, honestly, I have no idea. Um, do you have, so what, a, what weapons have you got again? You've got... I've got a javelin, a two-handed sword, and a bow. You could always throw a javelin at them. Why don't we just do what we always do? But tie a rope around the halfling and send it in. <laughs> <laughs> that little trap must have always go. worked out so well. Too. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you can always. What you, also, another action you can do is you can do what's called a ready, like a reaction action. So you just wait for something to happen, and then you get a get your action when something happens. Okay. So say you can you can wait there until say the beetles might suddenly attack but you get a you get your a free action because now is that different than waiting for an attack of opportunity or is that no attack of opportunity is when you're in combat with something right. and it tries to either cast a spell or run away from you wildly that right. gives you a chance for an attack of opportunity so or... this is different can you explain that again Sod? what is it so what it is is basically you can have an action prepared if you don't want to do anything in your particular round uh number mm -hmm. one you can delay you can always delay till later in the round your entire action if you wish and then that becomes your new initiative spot for the rest so let's say you go first but you don't want to go until after dom door goes you could delay until after dom door goes oh. also you could also <clears throat> take an action without moving your initiative track ready it and then go whenever that act you know whenever the trigger say is so like, if you say you like something, something comes around the corner i want to hit it whatever i see that comes around the corner now the only thing is if we get around to your spot in the initiative and that hasn't happened then you lose that you don't get two actions like it doesn't you know it doesn't uh, uh stack you don't get to, it doesn't like carry over you don't get like rollover minutes if you follow. The reactionary me. thing is like it's like XCOM. It's like you you know you're like uh, I forget what it's, it's like called, Overwatch. but you like Overwatch. yeah Overwatch. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh wow. So I mean, eventually one of us is gonna have to uh, take a shot at it. So you guys cool with me shooting a bow at it? And, you know, is that all right? You guys cool why, with that? Why, why not? All right. I, I, I mean, I'm thinking that we should we have a pretty good formation here with the uh, semicircle. So if they come toward us, we should be able to wipe it out pretty quick. And okay. if he shoots the bow, we can always claim we had no idea he was going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yeah, take him, just take him. Take him. We'll, we'll, we'll go on our way. Um, right, and so there was I'm one thing that didn't come in, yeah. but didn't come into play, by the way, series. I wanted to mention um, that uh, you technically you had your bow out when they came in, you then like immediately went to your two-handed weapon. So technically what that would have involved was dropping your bow onto the ground. I should have just specified that that's what you did. In other words, you you know, it, it would take time in combat to sling it back over your shoulder or whatever. So in this case, it didn't matter, but just be aware that that, that happens usually. No, no, um, no, in no, future, so. no, no, no. Let me go ahead and get my javelin. All right, I got two options here. So <laughs> I can get my javelin, the bow's on the ground, right? Yeah, well you can, no, no, no. It, it, this is all happening in seconds, so you can pick up the bow. It's not a big deal. But yeah, the there's nothing. Back... There's nothing around you, so you can pick up the bow. I'm just remind. I'm reminded, as you told me that that you said you wanted to do that, that we did not specify that before. So you can pick up the bow and and so have it. So need to go back and pick it up to where I dropped it. So like go up here and pick it up. And no, no, shoot. no. I assumed you dropped it right where you went. I assume like because it's you're only within like five ten feet, so it's fine. So you pick. Oh, okay. So you pick up the bow again, and then I'm sorry. You're going to aim it for what? Like under what circumstances will? Oh, uh, I'm going to light up one of the beetles. Okay. All right. Um. So you may uh, fire actually, away. Actually, you know what? Can I can I think about that? <laughs> or, is, or am I already in? Do, do you, no, you can. You no, you can change your action. Down. That's fine. Do, what do you want to do? I want to. I want to shoot an arrow right like over the heads to see if they react to the arrow. Okay. Um, so you're Sorry, aiming basically like for the pile, like the wall behind them, essentially. I don't know if there's like a pot next to the shrine or something. Like hit the pot instead and have it shatter. Like maybe that'll like. You could aim for the wall behind them. There's no pot that's like discernible. There's just like a big bunch of crap that they're crawling on, um, basically. But you could certainly aim for the wall behind them, or you could aim for the pile of crap. But since they're crawling all over it, you might hit one. That's all. It seems like the right side of the cameras on the layout are frozen solid. 
Like I'm um, I had there rolled twenty. Thought. The cameras froze for a second, then caught back up. So it might just be. Oh, I think you're right. Actually, let me. Um, all right, just kidding. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a shot at. Them. I mean, if they haven't noticed this yet, with like all the lizard men screaming, uh, I don't think gonna, an arrow going is gonna to uh, reload it. Right I did now. notice that. Yeah, we're all just thinking real hard. Aren't we? <laughs> real it, it, it hard. Might, <laughs> might be the best one. <laughs> yeah, everything's <laughs> gonna be rearranged. Yeah, we are. Uh, I got my thinking man going. Off's <laughs> gonna rearrange everything. Yeah, I gotta rearrange everything. It's the only problem with the system. Oh, now you're way over there. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, you can't like manually move. It's so annoying. Yeah, it really that is one big problem with the system. Give me a second, everybody. Everyone's a little bit crazy. <laughs> Except me, I'm thinking really hard about this. Who am I? Who am I? Av is probably. In Av in Av is pensive, very pensive. <laughs> I guess Av would, would be uh, would be optic, and I would be Av and. <laughs> And uh, series is me, and you know what? Don't even fix my sleep like that all night. That works for me. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, you got, that's a good pose. That's it is. I'm possible. I'm impressed with my like random photogenics or whatever. <laughs> I'm just I've been staring at something for a really long. Yeah, time. You know, yeah. <laughs> that's your, yeah, that's your that's your thinker pose. Mm -hmm. I like it. Someone needs to make that. Uh, oh make man, Foom is our dungeon master. I don't know if I want to play this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, all I think I've got a disco ball. <laughs> down from the heavens. All of a sudden, all of a sudden here. Five beetles. Doo, 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 doo. The lizard men start shooting foam all over the place. It's, yeah, it's throwing out glow sticks. It's crazy. And all of a sudden, one of them looks at you and is like, "Wait for the drop." You're like, "What?" And then, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, I think I got everybody back in uh, back in black. I believe. All right. Um, so let's see. Where were we? Uh, where was I? Uh, so you were gonna fire at the beetle. You hadn't decided if you were firing. I'm actually. At the beetle gonna, I'm actually gonna hit the. I'm gonna hit the beetle because they're not paying attention to us. Okay. So I'm gonna take one arrow, time. one arrow out of my inventory. Is that how it works? Um, yes, that's right. So go ahead and fire away. So you're gonna roll your twenty-sided die. Uh, you're gonna add your. Um, the, well, you should actually have just like with the twelve, the two-handed sword. There should be a. <laughs> there should be an attack thing in it as well. You, you plus, plus four. four. <laughs> attack. Yep. Plus four for long. So. They're not, they're not taking Lincoln, that's great. That is true. Do I have any advantage on that? Uh, I'm sorry. On on what? On the beetles? Oh, there you are. I thought you were frozen too, Anna. <laughs> um, on the are beetles? No, no, it's not advantage. For, if there's anything, it would be like trying to, trying to. It's not going to be a super easy shot as it is, so it all just kind of balances kind of out. Frozen picture, well, it's me though. Right. Or oh well. Really deep thinking. <laughs> Acknowledged, but still. All right. This is so not D20 the knockout of war, you know. Plus four. I like Barney Stinson. I just always look good in the picture. Damn it! It came back. <laughs> Thank you, Clockwork. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, Clockwork, for the follow. A 13, and then plus 4 would be 17. That will hit. Hey, what's up, Clockwork? So yeah, now go ahead and explode. roll. I'm calling it, dude. They're going to explode. <laughs> and then the damage Ooh, it, is... It splits into three beetles and comes right at you. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Face huggers. They're actually filled with the same juice that Gushers Candy uses. You know, maybe, it's, maybe it, may, it could work out. You know, I don't know. All right, so Ooh. damage is 1d8 plus 2. Okay. So i got to roll this. Oh baby! Oh yes! Thanks, Thanks, Nate. Nice. Thanks, Commando. Sweet. Appreciate it. I am going. Okay, to you uh, you completely and utterly annihilate um this beetle. Oh, <laughs> poor guy, man. You smash it into bits. <laughs> um, no, he's like skewered it into the wall. No, it's it's very much like the effect of stamping on top of a beetle would be, except it's with an arrow. It's one of those arrow. situations where we're like, I think you got it. And you can stop anytime now. <laughs> Please, like, please, guys, please, look at it. Stop. Look at my skill, guys. Look, look, <laughs> look at what I did, guys. Um, as you do that, um, you notice that the other... Um, that's not what I want to do. Sorry, ignore that. Um, you notice that the other uh, beetles look at you rather upset. Um, well, you can't tell I if they're imagine. upset, but they're certainly <laughs> skittering now. I imagine they're kind of mad. If you check Skype, this is the face of one of the other beetles um, in reaction to that. <laughs> You should put that in. You yeah, should put that in chat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ringo is down. And you, you hit it in somewhere in the distance. You hear, <laughs> and the fool on the hill, and the world spinning round. Yes. Um, so good. Okay, so it gets uh, it gets smashed, um, and the other one. I, I like the different oh. sections of Ringo there, You're getting chopped around on the layout. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> you've, you've you've done buggered my Skype again, sir. You've done buggered my Skype. <clears throat> Hang on a second. What do you mean I buggered your Skype? I am not responsible for the fact that Foom's uh, not. Well, it wasn't Foom this time. What? Somebody else uh, messed up with the uh, messed up the Skype. I'm not responsible for these things. <laughs> okay. Just, just letting you know it occurred, sir. Yeah. Right. All right. Here we go. All right. Cool. Smash. All right. So uh, yes. Yeah, so you've uh, you've definitely now attracted their attention. I will uh, fix uh, Inam's situation. Did he explode? Um. He. Yeah. He kind of went squish. Uh, he did not explode. Squishy. Oh, he did not explode. And you like hit it. I mean, a solid. You just like explode. struck it right in the middle. So it did not. It did not blow up. Uh, you do, however, um, actually, I'll, I'm going to have you make an intelligence roll for me, um, uh, Samil. So if you could um, do me a favor and just roll the 20 and or intelligence modifier to it, let me know what you get. Yeah, right. I'm a fighter, man. Not known for my intelligence. Uh, <laughs> you can do it. Yes. You'd be surprised. All right, be smart. Be smart, little one. rolling well so far. So. Natural 20 roll. Just 11 and kills. plus zero. Okay. Um, you detect the faint scent of rotten eggs in this room. Oh, that, that was probably the juice, yeah. So faint Gushers, scent. I don't know, Lafoom. I mean, mm, you can try it, but uh, yeah. probably not. Or someone farted, I don't know. That's right. Oh, or... <laughs> I look over uh, at Optic, I'm like, bro, really? <laughs> wow. What's up, Hillstorm? What's up, Thord? <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, exactly. First one to Perfect. smell it made it. Okay. Side um, effects of overuse of magic. So, I'll Cade. In the background, like, it's sulfur. <laughs> <laughs> Cade, uh, you are back up um, and uh, moving. You're still prone, but you are. Uh, I, you... No, I reach up and grab Fing and say, some hey. healing would not go amiss. Okay. That's pretty much it. I'm at one, I'm at one point. Okay, do you want to stand up and move? Turn, or? More yeah, I will, I, will sta I will stand up, though, yes. Yeah, okay, I will stand so Cade stay. stands up to his the full height. Up. You guys don't really notice much of a difference. No, I'm just kidding. Um, he stands up, <laughs> <laughs> um, and the and uh, you look over, and Stampy goes, which is sort of what it always does. Um, but, um, but you know. There's like, there's like little bits of lizard, like, good boy, Stampy. Good boy. Yes, there's definitely a lizard like shooting out of his mouth Ab as it's going. Absolutely. Yes, for sure. yes. That's definitely true. Okay, and uh, Domdor, you're I up. Keep you, Stampy, if only I could keep you. What's up, Are, Captain do Crush? Need to, do we need to take out one of the uh, beetles just so I keep this thing in track? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Thank you for oh, reminding me. Good. Um, so, just quickly, like, this area has nothing. It's just pitch black. Like, just the, the ends, or is this all lit? Well lit. Uh, it is not well lit, and in fact, it's less well lit now um, that you um, that you Ooh, took out the things, um, yeah. that you took out the uh, beetles. Yes. All right. So you, know, you guys have your own methods of you know light formation and so on, but or just right, seeing so in the I'm dark. Yeah. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna actually uh, ready my action in case any of the beetles start to move forward and engage um, Smeal. Okay. So if they if they like move up move up that way, I'm just gonna just gonna straight up charge. The, the first one that does. Okay. And I'm, that's my turn. <clears throat> I'm resetting this baby. just so the chat can see a little bit about what's going on here. Okay. Uh, all right. Sounds good. Um, and remind me of that if uh, it comes up where we have this sure. month. What's up, DJOB? Um, okay. Fing, um, you have just heard your um, fallen companion say his line about healing being not a miss. So I got him. I'm gonna use uh, healing word. One d eight plus two. Also, someone just got kicked out. It looks like it was optic again. So at the moment, I'm playing series runner until optic comes back in. <laughs> nice. And so you're, you're fully healed. Did now, you? Is, that you was just a straight burn? up. That was just a straight up heal. There's no uh, attacks or anything on that. Uh, nope, there's no nothing. right. Okay. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Attack you with a heal. Okay. So there you go. Is the burn still on me? By the way, I can't. Remember. I kind of like the idea that you can miss Our the heal though, and like really make yeah, it dirt so. feel. Yeah. So. Very awesome. Yes. But now, interesting. Interesting. You should mention that because that heal apparently thing does mm -hmm. absolute. Actually, wait. Uh, I take that back. You, because uh, this was just a magical. That actually does work. Yes. Um, you still do feel the burn. Um, but that heal did actually do what it needed to do. Eat some Taco okay. Bell, man. Feeling that burn. <laughs> oh my 
god, you every time I have to redo back this. Up here as well. <laughs> every time. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you, Fang. Appreciate it. Uh huh. I saw all my flask back when this is all over with. By the way. <laughs> by the way, I'll take it. If there's any whiskey left in it, I'll take a nip right now. Would be a good thing. Go. So. Have a good night, Hillness. Take care, man. Night, Hillness. Yep. Bye, Hillness. Good night, man. All righty. Take care, Hillness. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, good. Oops, Excellent. Okay. Um, so, are you gonna? So are you staying by his side, Fang? Or are you gonna stick there? I backed up a little bit because I'm still ready to go with my javelin in case things come up here. So. Okay. Um, okay. As um, the uh, as we get back up to the top of the round, you hear more hissing um, emanating from the darkness, um, mm -hmm. and um, from uh, both sides of the room. You see emerging, um, actually charging forward um, into the light, you see um, four more of the cursed lizard men Jeez, that you have man. seen before. Great. Yep. Can, I, like, point, can I like point to the lizard man who's chopped in half and be like, you guys, rethink this. <laughs> the, 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 don't think this over. Just think this over. Just back <laughs> up and think this over. Yeah. Whoops, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Turn it's around, whenever, like, walk yep, away. Freddy or something, and then it just gets worse. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> the good news is, the good news is that Domdor is in the middle now, so they will probably charge him. He's all coming the here, so like between me and him. Along. Where, where are they coming from again? Where are they? So you can see green a couple of them. You're going to see a pop up in just a minute. Okay. Uh, there's green boxes down there, and then these other ones just came from here. And they also, again, oh, look gosh. to seem Fantastic. to be. Fantastic. They also look to be, um, again, uh, disease ridden. All of these creatures that you've seen have been, except for the beetles, this? seem to be uh, disease ridden of some kind. Um, so, Mention um, says, uh, I guess we're not finished with them yet, and turns around and basically charges directly. You wonder if she's not a little bit upset at the way the fight's been going for her so far this time. So, um, But anyway, she <laughs> charges. Not with that. Slips and knocks herself out. How, by, by the way, how are you guys doing that whole like radar blip thing? Uh, you hold the just, mouse you just hold, down. Yeah. Okay. Would, That's would, a really would good that, feature, man. Uh, would that be? Oh, cool. Within, okay, got, with it, those, got, it, got it. With these appearing, would that be within my range to charge? If, even though I've said to charge that way, or would it be not <sighs> not part of it? Oh, that I is don't entirely know that I follow what you just said. You know how it says ready in action in case these guys move forward yes, right. to charge? Now that these appear, could I charge them instead? Um, not. It, it's not not really um, because okay. of the position that you are and where they came from. It wasn't really the same thing. Yeah, um, fair enough. Yeah, and it, it also oh. was like, again, it was clearly, I mean, it, you, you won, it's very likely that they heard the sounds of combat um, because... Um, this was not sort of the standard, you know, approach. And it's quite, it's quite dark there as well, probably may not have. That is exactly right. Um, okay. Now, that's what I wanted them to do. So it goes running in and, uh... There's a dwarf. Don't, can't you see in the dark there, Dom? Fires away. I, yeah, I do have dark vision. Uh, yes, but the dark vision, but the dark vision is a little bit hampered by the light of the, um, by the light of the fire beetles. Remember, anything oh, that will disrupt yeah. it now, now they are more like, you know, night you know flare sticks like like they're not they're not like uh torches but it does disrupt a little bit of what your vision looks like just makes it harder yeah. to see a little bit um yeah. so and also you know you don't have 360 degree vision also like it's you know they're coming from two different directions so um uh, fix that fix that one is finally <laughs> she's able to hit um on one of these she's going to do nice oh. damage. john you're gonna need to Please. get out and back into skype again oh. um and that is going to completely annihilate one of them. So she seems, feels very... It seems like that happens like clockwork. She says, ha-ha! Well, she's not useless. No, one more time. <laughs> Last time she was pretty useful, actually, but this has not been good for this time. she's killed more things than we have. All right, Solil, you're up. <laughs> no, that's not good. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Oh, man. No. No. Nope. Sound like a you sound like it's a dragon. Wood. Sad thing is, I can understand him. <laughs> <laughs> it's just super robot-y. <laughs> no. No, it's better, but still crackly. <laughs> Getting the there. Hell? All right. Oh wait, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Talk again. Yes. Yeah, there you are. Much okay. better. So it was static on the line. Yeah, there was before. Weird. Something okay. something happens regularly where it happens. All right, so Lil, yeah, you're up. All right. What what do we got? So Lil? Oh, so Lil. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 
I thought you said, oh, so what do we got? And I was like, oh, <laughs> what do we got, Solio? What do we got? Uh, All right, that's uh, the one here. Now that I know this is a thing, I'm going to abuse it. This one. Abuse it. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting all my magic missile lovins. Okay. Plus 10, up. No, like the staff. All right. To mop of uh, mention, which all is right. stupid. She can take a hit, and I can't. <laughs> Fire. Although, actually, now, the cantrips, uh, these are unlimited cantrips. I have to double check again, because they change this around. These, this, this is my second casting of the day. Okay, good. All right. That was the other thing, is that Magic Missile in 4E, Magic Missile was, you never lost it. You could just fire it all the time, so that's why they had to put in the two-hit oh, roll. So, that's a little crazy. Yeah, yes. that's, that's nuts. Nice, Red Pain. Got home from your D&D game to watch a D&D &D game. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, yes. That's commitment. All right. The, fan. the third one's coming. It's just taking it. Right, three plus two D &D plus. D &D. Hey, which yep. one of you guys has a uh, light spell or something? Um, uh, Fing has it. Fing has one. I do. Okay. All right, um, nine total, I believe. <clears throat> Did I get that right, Foom? I mean, uh, in um, yep. Exactly. Okay, excellent. Um, it is messed up. It's not dead, but it's looking pretty sorry at this point <clears throat> that it ran in the room, and also sorry that it's been hurt. Um, okay, Ginny, you are up, and you are you are looking at a very badly hurt lizard man, and then there's two more behind the pillar you'd have to move to get to. Oh, actually, uh, yeah, that you'd have to move to see. I should probably finish off the one. Um, okay, you have to move clear a little bit of it. Um, you know, don't you know? Don't worry about it too much, but you just have to move clear them to make it happen. Hmm. Oh, wait. Face right there. there we go. They can swim. I forgot about that. Never mind. Use my last spell. So what is he using? Are you using another frost ray or something else, or my last remaining magic missile? Okay. Just... Oh, you don't have to reposition for those. Those hit unerringly. Those go. They're little dart forces. Oh, that's what this is. Is the I was like, what is this music? I was like, it's the Dream Oath Hopper from Final Fantasy VI. I'm like, all right, good, good gravy. <laughs> if I wanted opera, I would have popped it up. All right. <clears throat> you don't have to roll the hit. Just roll your damage. Roll hit. Okay. Correct. Just roll your nope. damage. Destroy Destroy damage. damage. Damn it. Wait, uh, is this Ray of Frost? No, this is Magic Missile. Oh, Magic Missile, right, okay. There we go, there's my damage. Sorry. And I would, I would think you'd have to have at least line of sight on this target. I mean, that, that's just a little crazy. Yeah, he was like, able oh, yeah. to... Well, know. that's what you have to do to be able to target, but like right, whenever you right. see it, um, you don't have to worry about like hitting okay. someone else. It, it will go and hit your intended target. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So you definitely 100%. kill it without question. It just slams into the side of its uh, <laughs> side of its head as it's like... <laughs> and goes down, so that's clearly dead. I take a free action to high-five my mage brother. Okay. Right on. <laughs> you do so. You do so, giving the invisible ninja behind you an attack of opportunity in your armpit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Son I'm, of a bitch. That doesn't really happen. Um, okay, so um, that happens. All right, now the uh, the lizard men um, get their chance, um, and both of them go charging at um, the currently uh, kneeling character that is facing away from them. Dom? Why was he kneeling? What? Nope. That would be Fing. Um, who is currently uh, tending to the? Uh, oh no, that's not Fing. So, so they're gonna run. This is Dom. Dom. It's Dom. Yeah, no, it's exactly. Dom. It's Dom. Exactly. It's Dom. Sorry, uh, I was thinking about it, but still. Okay. Um, so he's not kneeling, but he is. Uh, he just yeah, looks I'm, like he's a dwarf. I'm, I'm no, like, I'm joking. Focus um, that way, but, but yeah, they're focused. No, no, you don't. No, they're, they don't get an advantage on you. You can see them, but yeah. they are charging at you. Um, and uh, so the first one is going to swipe with its claw at you. Oh, oh shit. Wow. wow. That is unfair. Oh. Wow. Uh, you s <laughs> Dirty gertie. Yeah, so that's going to do seven points of damage to you. Yep, mm. I'm down. Oh, crap. Like, no! hey, this is unprecedented. You'll also Am be happy to You'll be happy to know that you're also burning. Of, uh, you got the paid yep. version. So what are you at? Negative what? <laughs> Negative one. <laughs> Negative one, okay. So, um, so he falls over dead. Um, and then the second one, um, which was charging at you, without basically you know uh, without pausing um runs towards let's get here go ta go tackle stampy no it actually strangely enough it goes right around stampy which strikes you as strange um mm -hmm. and leaves it's going out the door perfect <laughs> <laughs> my god it's like increased in size yeah there we go um 
So it but, goes... Fine to by the way, does Stampy get an attack of opportunity on us since it's passing him? Yeah, Stompy does not seem to be paying very much attention to it. Um, uh, Stompy's a okay. little erratic. Yeah, um, oh, okay, I understand. So it charges here. Now, it's going to get a negative because it basically had to do this at the full run, and it reacted when it saw that Domdor had dropped. But it is going to swing wildly at you, Feng, as it passes over that um, pillar. So wow. it's going to get a negative to hit. Crazy psycho. Okay. Misses here. wildly. Um, also tries to bite you. Ooh. Well, let's see. Four. What's your AC? 18. No, that's going to miss. Um, that's what happens when it's super wildly trying to attack. Okay. Yeah, you notice that it's definitely not paying that much attention tactically. And again, as I mentioned, it is diseased, as I brought up before. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, or certainly seems to be. Um, okay, Samil, you're up. I think it's probably going to be dead before I can get to it. Samil? Samil? <laughs> I used to be an adventurer like you, but then I took two crits at level one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Am I up again? Samil, it's the top of yes, the Yes, you're up. Or... All right. Um, <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> well. Uh, that's that's funny, Guapo. Troubling, but funny. Wait, did I get <laughs> skipped? Who? Me. No. So isn't it, isn't oh, it Domdor than, than I? And no. no, no, no. He attacked Domdor. That wasn't Domdor's turn. Oh, that was Domdor a, did, yeah, I, Domdor just went down. That was his action. Yeah. His, his, yeah. his turn did not involve dying. <laughs> that was that was on them. Um, is, um, it'd be nice to see everyone's initiative somehow. But um, Well, I mean, you know, I can tell you, you don't know what the monsters are, although I guess, you know, uh, you know what the Cade goes after you and then Domdor and then Feng. I, I'm last. Cade and then Domdor and then me. But okay, well, no. Domdor would go after no. Me, Cade, yeah. Domdor, and then Fing. So it's so it's you, Cade, Domdor, Fing. Sir. Is that what I said? No, you said you after Fing. So it sounded like you were saying. Oh, you sorry. Uh, no. Um. Yeah, I mean the I I, I would attack the lizard man closest to me, but I want to protect. Uh, nah, nah. You guys can handle that guy. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, something like this. Help a brother out. Okay. Good. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. That's that's good. I think All you guys right. got enough to finish the guy back there. You stand next to the fallen dwarf. Okay. Now, this is an example. Now, you're dropping your bow to draw your two-handed, I assume. You're not going to leg a less it up with, like, arrow poke through well, the eye. Well, I mean, range. I am a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. That's, that's fine. All right. Bow dropped. Sword out. Go ahead and swing. All right. So we... Remind me again. It's a 20 to hit. 1d20 plus. Four. Correct. 1d20 plus your... In, yeah. The, the right the plus five will take account of both the proficiency oh, and the when, attack. When you type it, you can actually add the modifier as well. Got it. Typing it. That yeah. should probably do it. There you go. There you go. That will hit. Go smack. So now damage, which I think is twelve plus whatever the thing is. One d twelve plus. Uh, sorry. One d twelve plus three. Okay. Right. Uh. Oh, sorry. Considering how ours oh, okay. been with the experience of our monkey, I wouldn't so exactly. plus three would be eleven. There you go. That will kill him. Um, okay. So he uh, drops to the ground, <coughs> and that leaves just the one soul lizard men. Yep. <sighs> All right. And uh, so Samil knocks down his second. Um, now the beetles come crawling forward. Oh, I was, I was really crap. Trying to make a comeback. Uh, my timing <laughs> was completely off. <laughs> <laughs> I just Not got that. That's right. Well crap. done, Optic. Well I, done. I, 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 uh, shite. Damn you, why don't you move? Uh, thanks, you thanks, bullet guy. For whoa, oh, whoa, my God, they're whoa, huge. Whoa, what the heck is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's just making it easier for me to move. The queen. <laughs> they the grow to five times the size. No, I'm just oh kidding. Um, it's just a lot got... easier to move. Um, okay, so they move in and uh, are actually going to attack um, the last person who they saw that actually aimed at them. Oh, What's that up, was... Bro? Come at me. Ar Arrow boy. Yeah, get him. Get him. Yep. I, got, I got stuff to do here. I like how they're like puffer beetles. Yeah. <laughs> they're what? Well, what they, what, they're puffer beetles. beetles. They're puffer beetles. Whenever yeah. they want to be threatening, they go all big and puffy, and then they go right back down to size. That's exactly right. However, I don't believe that's going to hit. Um, that one misses pretty badly. I don't want your rotten oh, eggs. How dare you skewer my brethren? Get them! I was really hoping they'd move into like a center of like lizard men, and then I could use like sacred flame and blow them all up. And that's an... <laughs> yeah, that would have been a nice. Don't you think you'd somehow set the temple on fire? Yeah, front. I know. It's, yeah. No, it's it's gonna happen. This doesn't right. matter. What's well, it's that's going out. to miss as well. He did it. 
All right, and this last one. You'll relight some ancient altar and release an evil god. Yeah, exactly. Find out the whole temple was filled with sulfur and whatnot. And... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right, one one old guy shows up and is like, "Don't do it!" Right? Um, okay. Sorry, and this last beetle scuttles bit. directly towards the square in blue. Oh, okay, which I believe good. is Solale. Uh oh. You. <laughs> and predictably, Ooh. um, what's your AC? Do you really have to ask? I'm a mage. <laughs> <laughs> Negative five. Um, it's twelve. Okay. Um. So <laughs> let's see. Basically, you, what you you were asking what my AC was whenever that would hit the fighter. So yeah, it hits me. <laughs> yes, you'll be happy to know it does not do a lot of damage. Um, Sweet. In fact, just one nibble, damage nibble, in this nibble, nibble. case. I forgot I have to put up my other dice roller. Did um, it sting me like that. a wafts the bastard? No, it did. It did not. <laughs> yeah, right in your belly. Right in your belly. Yeah, it like does that. one point of damage. Um, Trying to but... romance the beetle. <laughs> 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 yeah, you headbutt the beetle. Somehow you piss off every beetle. Um, that ever existed, or it actually works, and we get married, and <laughs> yeah, exactly. You seem wait, to do more damage that way. Is that a success <laughs> or a failure if if you successfully romance the beetle? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, know. I don't <laughs> entirely know. Kiss it, um, kiss it, kiss it, kiss it. Okay, all right, Cade, you're up. Yes, <laughs> turn around, draw my sword, turn and around. skewer the lizard man's um, kidneys with two attacks. Okay. <clears throat> First one is going to be the classic, um, well, since he's facing away from me and, and near the beetles, going to be my classic sneak attack. Let's see okay. how that goes. Dick attack. Boom. The beetles need sweet loving. Exactly. And there's a natural 20. beetles need loving, too. Natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's check that sneak attack damage, shall we? All right. Actually, I actually don't even need to roll it. It's going to be a total yeah, max of damage. 16 points. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you destroy can, it and it's next boom. to kid. Boom. Blows up. I can um, just see falls apart. trading like bar stories one night. So one time... I made love to a beetle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you do, you annihilate it. Um, uh, it is it is very dead. Couldn't get the smell off me for weeks. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> All right, uh, Domdor, it's time for you to make a uh, save against death, sir. All righty. This is an unprecedented feeling for you. You're used to having causing things on the other side of death, but the icy hand closes around you. Uh, I fail. Ooh. I got you, buddy. Thank you for the follow, Killer J227. Welcome in. All right, uh, that is a fail. So you have one strike. I got you, buddy. Oh. Domdor can't die. Domdor's a can't die. Yes. Oh. That's so funny. The music. Da da. <laughs> it's just at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't die. Okay. Uh, Fing. Um, it is your turn. You are looking at a uh, oh, dying dwarf. Um, but you're also looking at. Um, you have a couple of angry fire beetles that are scuttling around. Right. Um, now the dwarf, I can't really. I, if he's unconscious, I can't heal. Can I? Uh, or how does that yes, work? Yes, you could. Yes, you could if you have a heal remaining. I assume you do. I, I do. Yep. You could move around the pillar, assuming you can get to him. Um, you could move dun, around dun, the dun, pillar dun, and we'll, do it. We'll do it like Olympic ski style. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna <laughs> slalom my way this way. <laughs> 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 and uh, what I have left is just... For absolutely uh, no reason. Like, you just go between, <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> I like to have fun when I move. Uh, it's uh, Cure Wounds, so it's going to be 2d8. Oh, my God. Two. Do it. Wow. Yeah, well, you know, bring him back. Bring him back. And, back well... Well... Um, it's so enough. Wait. Yeah. Six? Right. So it'll be six, yep. All right. So he was at negative. So that, again, when you get healing, you start at zero. So you're up to six hit points. So your eyes flutter open. Um, and you see some beetles around you, um, and some other people sort of fighting still, but you don't see any lizard What's men. What's all this alcohol all over me? <laughs> 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 Down, go, Down go, go back into crazy break mode. <laughs> Just dart, you, you, need, you need to be, I seriously, every time you get into one of those crazy charges, I imagine you going to like the little Samus ball. Like you go from door front to just like, and you just like start banging around the room. Nice. That's a wee night. That's my break, guys. Oh, man. All right. So, um, uh, so it comes running at you. useful here. It's like a little bit of payback. Yeah. I feel, you know, like yeah. Yeah. Decent. No, it's true. <laughs> I feel, I feel pretty good for, for taking out a couple of lizards. Yep. Or at least exactly. helping. All right. That? So, um, that was mentioned rolling at the beetle. Um, oh, okay. I think that beetle's dead. All right. And just give me a second here. Pop up my other one here. Yes. Okay, so she destroys it um, completely um, and happily. So she absolutely wipes the floor with it. Yeah. 
Yes. Yes. Uh, so that one is gone. So there's two fire beetles that remain. Um, and she looks at you and she says, It's sword work down here, boys! Uh, all right, and that's Wait, going to uh, lead us happily on to uh, Solil. Standard issue. I'm gonna. Well, how far would you say it is to get over to the distracted beetle down there? Um, is, it, is it within a move, move action? Or yeah. Not? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Easily. Yes. Okay. Then we're gonna have a ballsy mage. <laughs> we'll bop him with my stick. Ballsy mage. Ballsy Boobins. mage is ballsy. <laughs> all right. Go down there. Ready my staff. Okay. Um, we'll send the leave us here just in case it explodes. We're, we're, we're <laughs> I know, ready. exactly. All yeah. clustered. It didn't work last time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I send like... a current of electricity down my staff and boop it. Okay. Basically shocking grasp. <laughs> <laughs> shocking like grasp. Boop. I like boop. Um, you I you zap the conductor beetle and it blows it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I need um, a dexterity... Uh, check of it has to make a dexterity check of 13 please sir all right i will do that to skitter aside the elusive fuse beetle uh i don't think that's going to do it nope i'm doing see i'm doing concealed which is what i should have been doing from the beginning with these guys um so it uh it misses it so what do okay. it do to it it takes a d8 which i will roll right now for you okay and beetle guts are everywhere don't suck <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, that might do it. Yeah, I need to keep reminding you too that if it has if it has anything that you would consider heavy armor, like whether the giant it doesn't. Armor, okay, then it's a detriment to it as well. But I'll remember. I'll try to remember that for future. You could so say that part in one twenty one. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's five damage, and it can't take reactions until next turn. Well, it can't take actions anyway because it's dead. So well, that will help too. It can't. It can't take any actions ever because it's gone. Um, that and would certainly slow the reactions down. It, it, little little Ju oh. fire beetle junior will never never have its father back again. Um, okay, so Solil's wiped it out. That leads us to Ginny. Ginny, there's one remaining beetle. I can kill a bug. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought you'd feel good about that. You know, like I'm, imagining feel... I'm imagining it turned into a wasp at the last second. <laughs> I just obliterated it. Okay. Exactly. Don't get, don't get cocky, kid. <laughs> <clears throat> well, so I've used up both my magic missiles. That would leave me with... Uh, chill touch is really the only aggressive thing I have left. Do you have any, like, regular weapons? Darts of any kind? I have a short sword and a longbow. Arv, how did you uh, Might resize be a possibility. the boxes? I'm sorry? How did you resize the boxes? Like, oh, if you just do click on the select move, which is the arrow in your left bar, then you can like basically move something around it. And then once once you highlight the area, yeah. Basically what Saad is doing. Okay, okay. Or somebody's doing. Okay. So well, I, um, go ahead, Opti. Do yeah, what you're going to do. I know how to move it. I'm trying to make it smaller. Oh, there's like... If you click on it, there should be like sizable things... So, how. Here's your thing. pretty far, so far. That's all I see is the tilty thing. This is him right here, correct? Yeah. Exactly, Parn. Theater of the mind. Theater of the mind. That's what I'm about. Oh, my little face. I like how it looks like you're looking left and right and shit. Right? Exactly. It's okay. On my screen, it's bigger than all yours, so I'm just trying to get it. My OCD is driving me crazy. Okay, so optic. Uh, get, so uh, sorry. Um, Genie best, moves around to the side. The Every time I see that, I want to say, "I dream of Genie." Is yeah. take a shot with my longbows. About the best I can do. All right, there go ahead and go. fire at that beetle. All right. Um. Jeez. That's sick, Trace. Having your mage get blown up. Good grief. Sixteen. That will hit. So go ahead and roll uh, damage. So what are you shooting with? Your bow? Yes. Sorry, don't yeah, it's going to be a... Wow. 1d8 plus 2. Oh, there we go. There we go. Why, where'd you find it in them? How do you... Wow. Uh, find... just, just, just on the little thing up there, I turned it down from regular to thin. Yep, you wipe out uh, the fire beetle. And uh, with that, um, the room goes uh, deadly quiet. Geez. So you guys are now you guys are now out of initiative. I do want to mention that um, I told you before that when you killed the one beetle, when Sirius Samil absolutely <laughs> annihilated. No, so that's no. the funny thing. The one that you hit was sort of smashed. So that one, you know, definitely there was less light. But the three that remain that are killed 
are on the ground, but you notice that they are, this, some of their bellies, I mean, there's one of them is sort of smashed open, so it doesn't really look, but the other ones seem to still be glowing as they sit on the ground. I'm not picking it up. Yeah. So, you now, it's it's a somewhat dim room, but they are lit. I mean, they're, you know, the glands in their bodies or whatever it is that's causing them to light still remains open. And I we're now cast, out of initiative. I want to yeah, cast light on Inom. You can skew one on a sword. <laughs> just follow him around. Just, 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 <laughs> mean, uh, <laughs> just meander all over. All right, what do you guys want to do? <gasps> Move to investigate the well, we need, uh, pile of crap. We need light. We need light. Yeah, man. we need some good light. Yeah, I've started. Yeah. Yeah. Where, should I, where should I cast it? What should I cast it on? I was kind of serious with it. Um, yeah, you, know, you can cast it on. A, remember, you can cast on an object, a staff. I can, you can cast it on. Yeah, I can light something. Cast it on the tip of my staff if you want to. I can have yeah. a little, yeah. My <laughs> staff. <laughs> you could cast Actually, it on I, one of the. I'm, I'm it really doesn't do help because I was about to clarify as wooden staff, and that would. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's my very no, straight, that's gonna, that's very, good, yeah, one, my uh, very straight, hard wooden staff. <laughs> Just what? cast it on there. Come on. I don't understand why I'm going to cast light on Inam's boner. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> it the Blowing through the metaphor. No, no, for real. For real. <laughs> no, actually. I want to cast light on Inam's crotch. That's it doesn't, it, it's not, <laughs> it is not its own separate member. <laughs> um, it's not its own separate thing. Damn it. All right, well then on his Sadly. staff. If you want to decay, if you want to, um, what would be the term? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to remove his member first and then cast something on it, I guess no, you could do that. No, no. <laughs> wow. Things will be a little strange. <laughs> Suddenly someone follows. They're like, all right, that was worth it. Follow. <laughs> Thanks for the follows, in. Okay, so I'm sorry. You're casting it on, uh, you want what now? For? On his staff. Okay, so you do so. Um, the staff lights up, and now you're inside the room. There are a lot of dead lizards.